Well, gentlemen, I am back from Hollywood. Let me go get my gun. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't like me, but allow me to say a few words. Hi, Aki Yellow. Hello there, everyone. It is I, Aki Yellow. I am back once again. It's been a very long time. My, I hope you enjoyed my assistant, Aka Green, while he was here. No, I didn't. In fact, I shot him. He's gone. <laughs> well, that explains why he hasn't received my texts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he received them. But anyways, I, Aka Yellow, just wanted to inform you all that I will not be here this episode. Oh. As I do not have time for your silly little podcast on your YouTube channel. I got real show business to do. Ooh, fancy. Yes, they actually hired me to be running man number two in one of those big superhero movies. I don't know what they are. Yeah, but I, we're I, in Toronto, so maybe for season three of The Boys. I, I'm pretty sure I appeared in that contract, and it looked like it said The Amazing Race. So I will be the second winner for now. I might need that gun. <laughs> now. Oh, sorry. It is not a gun. It is a blaster. So I am packing my things, and I may return in the near future or at the end of the year. Fuck out. <laughs> That's a warning shot. Mr. Gazilo, do you mind taking it away? Yeah, okay. okay. Bye. 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 Man, fame really changed him. Man, what a dick. Oh, yeah, I, liked him better. <laughs> I liked him better before he sold out. <laughs> I, I liked him better when he was just a, a divorced dad. Aki <laughs> Yellow used to be cool. I liked him when he just cared about Sentai. <laughs> it's uh, about the Sentai. Oh, I'm back for a Sentai. Uh, also, you're actually back. Yeah, I'm actually back. So and Tom's back. Uh, hey! Cue the roll call. <coughs> we are live! Mike! Zenkaigan! Connect. Loading. Broadcast. Tempered Zeal. Bluecaster. Super Ichi. Loud and impulsive. Craycaster. Late. Illuminating the Tokuverse. Goldcaster. Garza. A spark of courage. The power of dreams. Orangecaster. Global soft perka. Quick on the draw and draw on the quick. Um, okay. Redcaster. Savage Fox. Broadcasting hundreds of opinions across the world! Radio Sentai Cast Ranger! On air! What was that? Something new in the roll call this week. Wait, what? what? Wait, oh. what? Oh, yeah. Midway through season seven? Wait, what, what, what got added to the roll For those who didn't recognize the voice that played at the end there, I... Paid a little bit of money to one Aaron Joseph Hansen. It wasn't that little amount of money. It was a lot, no. <laughs> he, he spent all the Ultra Ranger money on I it. I spent all the budget. He, he spent my Ultra Ranger money for it. Although, oh, an hour after I paid for it, his price went up another $20, so I apparently had clutch timing. And I uh, got a couple of the things recorded and sent to me. This is adorable. I love it. Anyways, welcome to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. This is episode 308. Wait, did you cut out the honest trailer guy? No, I'll leave him in. They'll both be in there. Oh, okay. Eventually, we'll just have like a train of like Radio Sentai, Radio Sentai, and then fucking, oh my I don't know. God. Something like that. I haven't even edited it yet. I don't know. It'll, it'll be like an opera. Cast Ranger. Uh, it's episode Cast Metacham. Ranger. Fuck yeah, Metacham. Oh, I hate Metacham. You have fucking boob What's legs. What's wrong with Metacham? I just. I don't know, he, he looks weird to me. Metacham was my the, boy in third gen. I can't, remember, I can't remember if I don't like, if I, if I like Mega Metacham. They're both excellent. Damn, Mega I played high jump kick Metacham all the fucking time back in third gen. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what I mean? Okay, you know yeah, what? Those look like boobs. That, that literally should okay. be sensitive. Okay, they're yoga pants. pants. I'll give, I'll give Me Mega Metacham credit. That actually is pretty dope. Yeah. See, that, that, that works more with a psychic fighting type, so. Anyway. Yeah. For those who might be listening to us for the first time, thank you for tuning in. We are a six-man Pokemon team of tokusatsu fans who get together every week to talk about Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, and a third thing. You say you say Pokemon trainers, I call them Guardian Beasts. 
You can call them whatever you like. Mega, mega slow bro, still best mega though. All right, all right. That's not yeah. good. Over oh, by the way, my bar. Umbreon's looking pretty sweet. That's eh? pretty dope. I, I got a little touched up there, but it's it's pretty much pretty much healed. It's Umbral as fuck. Yeah. But yes, uh, welcome everyone back to another Super Sentai tribute episode. Yeah. As our feature topic this month is uh oh, it's the first two episodes of, of Super Freaking Parody Rangers. <laughs> I wish. <Yeah. gasps> uh, since today or this week that passed was National Power Rangers Day, I thought, why not we all take a look back, not on Power Rangers, but the Sentai that would become the first season of Power Rangers. <laughs> Are you Sentai Jew Ranger? Jew Ranger. Jew Ranger, no, it's in my head and it won't go away. No, Blaze. Right? Jew Ranger. No, Blaze. Jew Ranger. <laughs> no, Blaze. I, I, I like found Jet Man. <laughs> <laughs> I actually want to recreate that costume someday. <laughs> I think that'd be dope. I'm surprised you didn't send this to me and go ahead. Ichi, make it gray. You know what I found the other Decker, day? make it gray. <laughs> I, I was going through some old photos lately and I came across your little Mac cosplay. <gasps> I'm so proud of that. I keep that in one of my top pictures on my Facebook profile. Yeah, you showed up at the best time for lighting, too. The photos were so dramatic. Were so dramatic. I know. So, All right, uh, so in addition to Z Ranger, our discussion topics for today are Kamen Rider Zero One, Episode Forty Four, and Episode Twenty of Machine Sentai Kira Major. So I'm gonna let you boys sit around here and talk about your little Kamen Rider. Kamen Rider. I'm gonna be in the. I'm gonna be over here watching my stories. Uh, you, grabbing you, a sound like a, you sound like a, like a suburban mom. Okay, you guys, enjoy. Play little, nice. Enjoy, I'll be back with cookies. Enjoy your little Power Rangers show. Don't don't let don't let Lane stay up past nine. <laughs> enjoy I, your I, little show. You know, we know I, how, and, and make sure that Itchy drinks his Pepsi or Itchy gets cranky. You know, you know, I, I honestly see that as Aki Yellow's wife. <laughs> Like, like the same, suburban uh, excuse mother. Excuse me, ex-wife. I'm not getting alimony from that son of a bitch to be called his wife. Aka Pink. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be Aka Pink, guys. Come on. That's lazy writing. Yeah. And yet, on brand. Speaking of stuff it would lazy. Be Aka, I, my name, they call me Aka Pink Slip because <laughs> Aka Yellow's car is in my driveway. <laughs> ah, wow. All right, let's do the thing. A H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H and as you can tell, I did not screen the result before putting it into the rotation. I really like that though. <laughs> because wow, is shit fucked. But uh, before we talk about this week, Tom, since you haven't been on in the last couple weeks, please tell us about your thoughts catching up to episode 43. Holy shit. Holy fucking Backstreet Boys tour shit. <laughs> like, Has anyone actually been to a Backstreet Boys concert? I have. It's a thing I shame. Oh, um, God. I have shame for. I've seen I both Backstreet should... Boys and New Kids on the Block. Oh, great. Country. Now I need to wear my mask. Um, I just, it, uh, I actually, well, everyone's telling me it was good, and I'm just kind of like, and the thing is, I like Zero One, but I was kind of like. I'm about to say, are we still talking about Backstreet Boys? No. <gasps> Thank um, you, Decker, that is fucking beautiful. I love it. And, uh, I was blown away, like, the twists, like, the, like, just, I love the twists, I love where it's going. I, I think it's some <laughs> of the best writing I've ever seen in Rider. Yeah. Like, it's just, and I'm hoping, my biggest hope is that. Uh, Aruto basically is, well, is the end boss to his own series. Yeah. Like, you know how usually it's like, oh, look, we've got a gold evil version of the main rider. No, it's actually the main rider. Like, he's going to be known as the, the rider that turned evil. Yeah. It's interesting. Unlike literally the whole series of, of Zeo, where it's like, he's going to turn into an evil overlord. Also, he did, who, but not really. Anyone, and then they did it. To anyone who's curious about seeing my little Mac cosplay, there it is. It, there it is. There's me. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Tom did a very good job with that photo shoot. I miss anime North when it was a thing. I just miss cons. I miss anime. I yeah. miss people. <laughs> but on the plus side, by not going to any cons today, I've been able to buy nine tattoos. There you go. Oh my god. 
I bought I have nine tattoos. <laughs> Good job, man. Yeah. Are they like monk tattoos? Do they each have a secret power? Yeah. That cool. cost me pain when I sleep it, on is, them. Is it like I mean, that Tom, is a good power. Tom can have the but, amazing ability to just summon foxes out of his fucking body. Yeah, I do. Like, because I've got. Well, the funny thing is, is this fox that I got on my arm, the black and white one. I named him Nine because he's my ninth tattoo, and I go. But I've got, I've got one, two, three, four, five foxes on my arm, one on my leg. Wow. I got my Bowsette on my arm. Yep. I got my skull in a bottle. I got my shark. Soon you you will become the legendary nine foxed tail. The next the next <laughs> thing I'm getting though is a a famous tattoo artist had an opening and there was this design of this demon girl that I really liked and it was a little expensive, but it was like I was really sad and I have a fan expo fund and I was just like, I'm not I'm not going to fan expo. So I'm getting it on my leg. Okay, any other thoughts about Zero One catching up to... Episode? Oh, yeah, we're talking about Zero One. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, the, like, I think they like I, the fights were amazing, the story was amazing, the characters were amazing. Um, I'm thinking if the ending... So here's my thing. If the ending next week is an ending... Holy shit, next week's the end? Yeah. yeah. Nope, I mean, next episode. week, if the ending is an ending, like none of this... Did I lose Emily again? No, it's gone. No, it's gone. That was me. Hang on. But yes, um, but at, as at the time of this recording, the end, the finale will air within the next twenty four hours ish. Oh shit! Yeah, but here's the thing: if the ending well, is an ending, like I can leave a few things open for the movie, but uh, like if it has a definitive good ending, it might rival Build for me. I might have to do some serious thought over whether I like this more than Build. Like. That's how good this series is now. Interesting. All right. But I have a feeling that they're going to Evangelion it. Where they go, metaphysical bullshit! Characters have died, but they're actually dead. <laughs> six months ago. Back, Everyone comes out of it back, okay and happy. And the ending is open, and maybe there's going to be war between the human gears. Watch, check out in the movie called. Definitely an uh, you know, Kamen Rider Zero One, definitely an ending. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. The movie. Kamen Rider Zero Three. Based yeah. on the last two years of movies, Common Rider Zero One realize. So okay. yeah, so well, yeah, wait, maybe. this picture of the fall guy with the person inside. Yeah. How do they get out? They don't. They die. They have to die to get <laughs> they out. Fell. If you win the crown, you get your release. Yeah. <laughs> or it's like it's like Ace Ventura. Like they gotta like crawl out. Oh little, no! Get a on Switch. I wish it was on Switch. Fucking put Fall Guys on Switch, goddammit! I think they said they're working on it. Good. That's what I thought they were gonna announce at Gamescom, and then they didn't. Anyways. Kill. I liked it. It's good. All it's right. really good. Alright, let's And go. I like that I like that he's evil, and I hope they commit to it. Right? Uh, you know what I want? You know what I want? I want it to be like, in order, like, they're fighting, and things are going bad, but one of them has to surrender. Like, one of them has to, like, do the hard play. And whoever does the hard play does it to end the conflict. And I literally want them... Here's what I want. I want them to lead in. Like, maybe Aruto is going to become good again. Maybe he's going to realize he's going to let go of oh, his mouth. Because uh, one of them... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but... What? Chad, Chadwick Boseman just died. I what? just saw that, too. He did. The what? actor who played Black Panther, he what? just died from colon cancer. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Oh, that's awful. I just found it out what? this second too. Colon cancer, you said? Colon. Yes. Shit. No. He was diagnosed four years ago, but they didn't talk about it in the public. Shit. Oh man, that sucks. Oh man. Oh. That sucks. Oh. Sorry to bring this up, but just yeah. I'm, oh, I'm oh, sure everyone, so... everyone will know by the time this airs. That's some major fucking shit. news. Can we do a I think it just happened. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me. I want to do a like a legit. Like I think he deserves. You know what? He's a dude that wears a full mask. He's a tokusatsu. Honorary. We're calling him a tokusatsu hero because yeah. we have the ability to. Uh, uh, all right. So we're gonna do uh, one minute. Okay. I'll tell you when we're back. Okay. So we're gonna do a moment of silence. Mm -hmm. Say what you okay. want in the chat because you're silent when you're doing it. But we're doing a moment of silence for. I'm going to pronounce his name wrong. Chadwick Boseman, uh, Black Panther, fantastic actor. Moment of silence, here we go.
and we're we're good. That was a moment of silence for a fantastic actor and a uh, person who left us too young. Yeah. But uh, man, that's out of left field, man. But, uh, but anyway, we the show must go on. Um, we'll all honor him in his own way. Uh, but uh, so as I was saying, what what I hope would happen. But is I want there to be the battle, okay? Like remember in Blade when you know for for Chalice and Blade to fight, everything bad would happen. So they start fighting, yeah. And obviously when they start fighting, the humans are going to start fighting the human groups, yeah. And the war is going to be breaking out. And I think one of them ha- that they're probably going to have inner turmoil. And I wonder that one of them has to do the sacrifice play. You know, they have to have to sacrifice their life, like not by be, you know losing, but by giving up their life to be kind of like a martyr and be the hero that unites both sides. And I think they're going to lead, I would love for them, them to lead toward, um, Aruto doing it, but Horby does it. Horby realizes that he, they can coexist and Horby sacrifices himself to end the conflict. And therefore Aruto now seeing what he has done, of course now has to atone, but that way he's the villain. He is the villain of his own series. And I would love if they had the had the the cojones to do that, but they probably won't. Yeah. But I mean, wouldn't that be rad? That would be that would be interesting. Um, I have Emily. Is Emily still there? Yes, I am still here. Yeah, she's just being very quiet, Tom. Okay, because I have not heard her. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm actually not in it. No, I am in it. Okay. Uh, anyway, but no, that would be that would be rad. But anyway, I I it could be different. I just want there to be. An end, like an ending, like, like, um, X Aid. You know, they'll just like both look at each other, both see Azu just like sitting at the side of the fucking stage, just eating popcorn, watching them, and realize, hey, she's the one who calls all this. They'll be like, hey, let's just both stab her. Can I bring your attention to this bitch? (laughs) Yeah, it's it's all her fault. Uh, because she's been, oh man, she's been brutal. And the thing is, like, the acting that, uh, like, I, I love that. Because Uzu's through a whole thing has been playing, you know, the the straight. Yeah. Oh my god! That's why I said it because I knew someone made that meme. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my god, that is so good. It's so perfect. That's, that's I awesome. I have to say though that the scenes where Westworld it was like the temptation of um, Azu on, on no, our show. She's been playing it really. Emily, soon. Emily is talking. Oh, I'm not hearing it. You might want to leave and re-enter the chat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go so ahead, Emily, about Azu. The, the 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 scene where it's like the temptation of Azu on Aruto, it just straight up looked like a perfume commercial. <laughs> it kind of did. Like all I could think was like temptation by by. <laughs> by <ass. Ethan. laughs> yes. I, but yeah, like I was saying last week, I actually really really am enjoying the whole Azu being this dark temptress thing who's like goading both sides, really Aruto and Horibi into fighting each other. Um, I'm not getting any sound from Emily. Wait, maybe you like leave and re-enter. Oh no, Emily, say something. Uh, hello. Okay, you're back. Okay, okay we're good. Sorry. Um, so the episode opens with Horby basically broadcasting over every TV in the world uh, how he's going to raise a crusade of the human gears to kill humanity, and it's interesting. It's it's kind of poetic because like the whole show he's been like ah kunoishi no mamani ah kunoishi no mamani, but now it's Metsubo Jinrai Neto no Ishi no Mamani. The will of Metsubo Jinrai, not of the Ark. That's interesting change. Um, so of course the human gears are like, Seritsu, Seritsu, did you betray us? Are you evil? I know that I can clear this up in one phrase, but instead I'm just gonna go, ah! Yeah. I'm gonna so, do the Arto face of the week and run off. Speaking of, do you have? Yes, I do. Hold on a second. So while you're pulling that up, so the, the human gears start protesting, even at the hidden office. <laughs> and of course, it's up to Fuku's... Oh, oh yeah, there's the perfume commercial. Yeah, it's, I'd say it kind of <laughs> takes more from a horror film, because there was like a scene where you see a shot of like close-up of Arto's face, and you just see Azu's hand kind of just yeah. over her shoulder, and then she's kind of hugging him closely, smiling very evil-like, and I'm like... Yeah. What the fuck kind of horror shit are we into? It's like a demonic spider crawling up his back. Because it was either this or it was going to be one where, like, he was, like, holding his hand, like, his hands in his head. He's like, ah, like, running away. Yeah. But I thought that was more, like, 
kind of with the tone of the episode. So Fukuzoe and Yama, Yamashita are left to defend the public image of the company, and Shesta, who's, who's remaining surprisingly loyal to them... Yeah, there's the perfume perfume commercial pictures. Um, kind of slaps the shit out of Yamashita when he starts panicking. That was funny. I, I would also like a nice slap, because... Uh, Oh, I've been ha- I've been out of it lately. I think that would probably turn things around a little. Just get yeah. a nice, nice brisk slap from a, from a, someone who cares. So, Gar's like, I'll come over and slap you right now. So Zaya deploys aims to put down the protests, but at the last minute, before the two dudes who used to follow Yua can put down one of the human gears, Yua shows up. Yeah, and you can tell that the guy did not want to fucking do it, but, like, he was, Yeah, like, he was, he was, like, averting his eyes, absolutely. That's a lot of emotional development for a dude whose name we don't know. But then she shows up, and it turns out that Bowser went over the new president's head and gave gave Ames back to the government, so now Yua is back in charge. Yeah, so... You was back in charge! I, I, I believe there was some debate on Cash Ranger earlier about the, about the ownership of Ames, but this pretty much confirms what I was saying, that Ames, at the start of the show, was a government agency that Zaya then acquired somehow while Thouser was active, and, and Guy actually gave, sold, whatever, uh, transferred Ames back to the government's control, and you know what? That doesn't make up for everything he's done, but I have to say I actually respect him for doing so. This is the kind of thing that I wanted him to start doing to make up to everyone else. I like that he's not, I want redemption, I want your trust. It's like, you know what, I I owe this to you. So he's not asking for forgiveness, he's redeeming himself through action. Yeah, and not only does he give aims back to the government, but he has them appoint Yua as its new leader. Which is excellent. So Yua shows up and goes, I own them now, get fucked, Williamson. <laughs> and and at the start of the show, she was all, human gears are just tools, but now her character arc has come full circle, and she's going on about how human gears are not tools. They have hearts like humans. <laughs> Real humans. Real human. Um, let's see, what else? So we go over to the scene where Aruto is trying to find Horibi and Fua is chasing him because he wants to stop him and knock some sense into him, etc., etc. And uh, Fua pulls out his shot riser and Aruto promptly goes, Haha, that's cute. But one thing I noticed in particular about that scene is you see Fua open the bullet, like the, the shooting wolf key, and did you notice he didn't have to pry it open? Nope. He has officially ripped it open so many times that it has no tension <laughs> left. You, you've been loose. saying that the whole fucking time. I knew it was going to happen. He broke it. He's oh, officially shit, broken it. <laughs> I've broken it at Pachita. He, he, he broke the gimmick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's pretty cool that Fua decided he's like, he feels like he won't. It won't matter, but he's gonna try. He was gonna try anyways to try to convince Arto to stop whatever he's fucking. Because doing. that's what Fua does. He try. He brute forces problems. Yeah, like he was like, you can't tear open this arm like a key. He's like, fucking watch me. Yeah. New Aruto progress key. Yeah, so like he just goes up to Aruto and he's just like, dude, like after you kill Horby, what the fuck are you gonna do after? And he's like, go to Disneyland. Shut up! To go to Disneyland. <laughs> no, and then I like Let's when I like that. Um... Oh, sorry. Yeah, um, so Aruto, he transforms into Zero Two, which I like to think he did because he didn't want to go Arc, Z- Arc One because if he did. He would have killed Fua, so I he decided to hold point. back a bit because he knew Fua could at least take Zero Two. I think that's it's part... weird because Zero Two was designed to beat Arc, wasn't it? So it was designed to beat Arc Zero. Oh yeah, I guess. But I, I, I think that's part of it. But the way I interpret it as, like, oh, you're not even worth using Arc One. You can, I'll, you can have Zero Two to fight the weaker one. That's, that's nice. You're not even worth really trying. Because, as you can see in the rest of the episode, he doesn't even fight him. He just keeps walking, and any time Fua comes at him, he just, like, pushes him off. Get out of here. So, I, I thought that was super interesting. Um, but, of course, uh, well, the reason he's able to even do so is... Oh, it's perfect! Ah, <laughs> 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 One stop to destruction. That's funny. Oh my god. Azu by Calvin Klein. That's perfect, except um, oh, what destruction Calvin. is spelled wrong. Azu, for the real human gear inside all of us. Yeah. Uh, tell me it doesn't look like a 
like a uh, like a yeah yeah no it absolutely does um but yeah that's perfect you did an amazing job so naki shows up like i like that she's up trying to shout at them from a quote-unquote safe point high up on a bridge she tries to shout at Aruto to stop it, and of course it doesn't work. So he's like, "All right, fuck you!" Turns over to Fua. Hey, use my thing! Eh. Tosses him the Japanese wolf key, and here's where we get the coolest shit in the episode, in my opinion. So he puts in the Japanese wolf key into the shot riser, and you can hear it saying, "Warning, warning," which is fucking rad. Yeah, and just you see like these two wolves, like two. Apparently, wolves. Japanese wolves had two heads. Yeah, it's 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 Orthrus. I. The only other thing I know Orthrus from is Beyblade. It was also a two-headed, like, wolf-griffin-like creature of sorts. But, uh, yeah, so I guess... I think it's equal parts. It's because it came from Naki, who was inside his head. And also, Zetsuma Rai's keys just hit different. Which is for the reason that he was able to use them. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, there was an Orthrus card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Part of the DD series. You know who I am. Say it. Human. <laughs> You're human! <laughs> he could have been a giant robot. Um, but yeah, so we get to see him transform into Orthros Vulcan, which is a recolor of a salt wolf, where all the red parts are white, and it's fucking gorgeous! Yeah, no, like, it's just a repaint yeah, of the assault wolf perfect. suit, but... This color suits that uh, suits that suit way more. Yes, I, like think. I love it. So nice blue and silver. It's Ooh. white because of the Japanese wolf key. <sighs> and I gotta say, for he sots from what we saw of it, pretty cool. Orthrus Blast Fever, which I, is the I, most I, weird I attack it. name ever. I like that a lot. But, but no, like, I like that. Like, that sounds like somebody's OC. Like yeah. when it was Orthrus Blast Fever. <laughs> But yeah, he grows Naki's rider claws and like lunges at him. To which Zero One grabs and snaps off. He snaps off one of them and then. Well, he, he snaps off both, but only half of one goes. He's like yeah. one and a half. He's and then off. he just like tries to punch even further down while he's like suspended in the air. Yeah. And then, my favorite shot of the episode, he gets some distance and tries to go in to finish off the, the Hisatsu. And as he goes to punch. The shot riser fucking explodes, causing Fua to just whiff that punch and just go down. Oh my god. I just thought it would be funny if he actually hit it. It was like, ah, shit! <laughs> my hand! I feel like that would have ruined it. This was a really powerful scene. Yeah. Man, that hit me hard. Yeah. It hits differently. Yeah. Yeah, they're not fucking around, man. But, like, he was warned. I guess Zetsuma Rai's keys are not truly compatible. Gar, you look so, so bored. Well, yeah, he's not, hasn't watched the show. I'm also just... We're just sad about Chadwick Boseman. Also that. You know what? You know what you need? You know what you need? Oh, Chocolate right. milk? Chocolate milk. <laughs> but it's also just like... Oh, just pour some out for our homies. <laughs> like, you just never know when... End this year. Well, in his in his memory, I, I went on eBay and I bought a, a Black Panther figure to honor him, so... Yeah. And I tweeted out to Epic Games and Fortnite that I think they should release... For this Marvel season, a Black Panther skin, Absolutely. and all the proceeds go towards a charity researching colon cancer. Yeah, that right. would be that would be great. So that would be cool. Hopefully, that tweet I made gets retweeted around a lot. So I actually have the the because uh, it's a little rare because it came out late. I have the Black Panther uh, Disney Infinity figure. That's cool, and it is one of the dopest figures they made. Like I want to watch him in Civil War. Cause I I play that. Disney Infinity still, but I actually don't have that one. So what are they gonna do for Black Panther two? Probably cancel it. Yeah. yeah. Either that well, or they get a book, the sister to become the new Black Panther. Ooh, I'd yeah, like, you know what? I love and, her being and, and yeah. actually state that he died. Yeah. yeah. None of this, oh, he's captured, or they recast him. No, don't you recast You know what? Him. Yeah, Siri should yeah. be new Black Panther. That's Shuri. actually a great. Or. Oh, Did you just call her Siri? Siri. Oh, Siri. <laughs> Siri, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Siri, yeah. Siri, uh, Siri. Or. Hey, is Siri. It too, is it too late to bring back Killmonger because he was fucking great? No, he was, he was a maniac. No, but he can have a redemption arc. If Bowser gets one kill. But he's, one but he's dead. One. I wouldn't call what he's got a redemption arc. Yeah. Um. Um. But yeah. So yeah, he, yeah, could have, yeah. he could have a, a redemption right, arc. He, right. he actually. Uh, oh, I'm sure, he did become Black Panther in the comics. Yeah. Apparently. You know. And I think is you know what if like the thing is because they're they're in pre production for that movie. I think that would be the only. They're probably going to postpone it. But I'm thinking that might be the only. Um, like. Uh, 
respectable thing to do because she's an established character. Yeah. Chadwick Boseman, her actor, apparently got along very well. Yeah, but uh, no, he was fucking so good as Black Panther, man. He was a great Black Panther. Well, the thing is, like, it's I know, like, I know, it's it's weird to talk about people, you know, as only by the rules. But the thing is, we we didn't know him. Like, he's he is a person, but you know, we we only saw the the part of him that he shared with everybody. Yeah. But he was, uh, oh, he's such a great actor too. So uh, after this fight between Zero Two and Vulcan, we see Azu giving Horibi. The Zetsu Metsu driver and Arc Scorpion key, which comes up at the end of the episode. Shit, give that here. I gotta get a photo of that. What you're doing there, Gar? Aww. That's, so, that's... Um, I have a thing about the 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 new belt that we got. New, uh-huh. new belt, air quotes here. So I like to think that when they were coming up with the design for Zero Two, they were going to make an, a whole new belt. Yeah, those are the fit, like yeah. a brand new belt. Well, I mean, we have to remember that the sounds for Zero Two, like uh, like the whole Big Bang and Let's Give You Power, were in the Zero One driver already. Really? Yeah, because oh. people hacked the belt when it first came out. Oh, okay. I, I never saw those sounds, so I don't know. But I'm just... Well, then, fine. That ruins my theory. You, you want to say what your theory was? I was going to say that they decided because they already had too many belts that they didn't want to risk people not buying new belts... So they just decided we'll make it easier and buy or and just add an accessory to the Zero One driver to make it easier and affordable for people. That's an interesting theory, considering the Zero Two driver unit is not the only extension to the Zero One driver we're getting. Because mm-hmm. now we have the Zetsu Metsu and possibly another one. I'll get into that in a bit. Um, funniest scene in the episode: the Thouser department. Yeah, it's it's like the electrical closet, right? They so I, hey guys, welcome to the Thousand Pit. I'd like to think that after <laughs> seeing the Thousand Driver get destroyed, him being demoted in Zaya, and then being thrown in the electrical room, <laughs> I think Toei realized that Thouser was a fucking colossal failure <laughs> and a commercial failure. We, we so get it. You hate like, him. So they're just like, you know what? We're just gonna shove you in the closet. You're gone. Bye bye. We put him in the bad character box. (laughs) So, as as it saddens me, I understand and I accept it, but I still like Thouser. That's fine. I I, I like Thouser. I like to hate him sometimes, but I do like Thouser. I like cats. I like to eat him. (laughs) He's a trash man. Yeah, um. So, Thouser tells Yua to rebuild Jin for the second time. And I'm like, all right, they did it. They did it before. Williamson did it. I don't know why Williamson's not doing it again. He just makes his underlings do it now. Yeah. I guess Williamson's just like, all right, fuck all this. Make less important people do it. <laughs> so Jin is probably going to show up in the last episode. Isn't it? Probably. Uh, so Horby and Aruto finally find each other, and Azu decides to promptly broadcast it like it's a fucking wrestling match. Christy popcorn. Yeah, we <laughs> showed before. Like she actually goes, Horabi Basis Aruto. Yeah, Basis Aruto. Or whatever she said. Fight. Um, so, we, so we get to see the double henshin of Arc <laughs> 1 and the new Kamen Rider Horabi Arc Scorpion. And so it's... now both of them are have hatred in their hearts and they're using that yes. as the, the, at the forefront. The yeah. mother, motherfucking form Horabi's fucking deserve. This is. This is Greece all over again. We were like just the whole talking time we're... about how Horby's gone this whole series without a power up, and then they just shove one in right here. Would you like to explain what the the, the James speak uh, means? Oh, I don't even remember. Yeah, you it was saying it was something around Seiji Takaiwa. You said. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. There's a pun in the James speak that makes a reference to Takaiwa, because I think uh yeah because they climb to the top. It, it's about climbing to the top of a mountain of rock. And the word for high is Takai, and the word for rock is Iwa, Takaiwa, because it's Seiji Takaiwa doing the suit acting for Horibi. Oh. Go home. I am home. Go farther home. Okay. But yeah, so Ark Horibi, as I'm calling it, as I'm sure many people are calling it, is fucking rad. He just, like, appears out of this pit of fucking Ark slime. 
and and then goes all unlimited blade works by littering the battlefield in not only the attached weapons, but if you look close, you can see the Thousand Jacker and Shot Riser. So now I'm like, can Fua just pick one of those up? <laughs> oh, oh and yeah. Someone, oh, and Decker's edited into just the Hay Sabers. Anyone who wants one of those now can just come. Oh, yeah, gosh. riders for everyone. Oops, all Hay Sabers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> You just, like, as they're fighting, you just hear from every direction, Hey! Say! Did hey! You, say! Did you see that the, apparently they made crunch berries with smart food? I was picturing that exact thing, didn't I say? It's like, uh, Azu's been, like, just putting them out there on the battlefield. Like, she's setting this all up. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Wow. <laughs> uh, like, she's like, so see... happy with her basket of swords. Yeah, it's like Omen and Blade Works, it's the fucking Keyblade graveyard. Like, what other references? I, I just I just like seeing the, the, the shot riders just embedded in, like, rock. Yeah, like, the gun is just, like, sticking out of the ground. Hey, go, fool! Go grab your new! That's what I'm saying! Like, here, boy! Here, boy! Here's a new shot riser! <laughs> well, he is a wolf. Just with, just with, Val, just with Valkyrie <laughs> beat. Valkyrie beat. <laughs> <laughs> you shot her for you. I mean, she still has her. And she comes over there, and then she scratches the shit out. Look at that suit! That's so fucking dope. I like everything but the helmet. Yeah, that that, that suit looks fine, but um, it's missing something. Uh oh. What, what could it possibly be missing? I'm a sword of a deceased <laughs> animal. <laughs> The fucking Belial sword, the greatest and only ultra man weapon we need. We'll be talking Wait a minute, about is there just a fad now of putting people's heads on swords? I mean, it's always been a thing. It's been a thing for Den a while. Gasher. Uh, no, no, not the Den Gasher, the Den Common the Den, Sword. Yeah, Den Common Sword, the uh, the Momo's Taro Sword, when fucking the Momo's Haken. Yeah. How about a reference that's not Deno? <laughs> um. The sunglass slasher had a face, kind of. The dynamic buster? Fuck! Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, yeah, the fucking Zeo, Zeo sword. Oh, yeah, Zeo sword. Well, that's the one I was actually <laughs> thinking about. <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, if you want to see more Belial sword jokes, check out Ultra Ranger when we record that episode. Oh, yeah. It'll just, no, you, that's the thumbnail. Just all the memes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be gushing about this the whole time. So, the episode ends with arc <laughs> one and arc and Hor and Ark Horaby just about to clash blades, as as Touch, expected. Touching the tips. Yeah. So next, no. what things I spotted in the preview for the finale include Zero One Rising Hopper because every show has to end with base form. Jin gets revived, obviously, and there is a new writer who we Wait, saw then. the image of in the extra extra cast ranger who seems to be dark and purpley and have what? yet another attachment to the Zero One driver. Wait, Jin died. Again? Yes. Oh shit. Yeah. You'll just have to watch the episode. Yeah, I'll catch up eventually. You got better. Yeah, <laughs> again. I don't know. I it's time like for Jin to get up. his groove back yeah. again. Well, no, I, I I feel like if I caught up on the show in the last week, I feel like my opinion wouldn't matter. Because I'd, I'd, be are, inter- I'd be interested. I'd be interested. Your in opinion the... always matters. Yeah. I mean, Except for when I tell you it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It always does. I'd be interested in your opinion after speed running the you series. You know what, Gar? You are the speed run king. You're like, yeah. yeah. I watched, uh, I watched Die Ranger earlier today. Uh, <laughs> well, like, I watched Die Ranger in two days. Okay, no, uh, that's fucked up. You know what, Gar? I want to see you watch this whole series and next week come back and and you, and just give us whatever fucking opinion you have. Yeah. All right. It could be good. It could be I, bad. We just want to hear it. I mean, it's only 45 episodes, so five episodes a day I can do so that. Cigar, what'd you think of Zero One as a whole? Oh, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes full knees with Zio. <laughs> That's Gar's signature. Like, next week, we're sitting here, Gar comes in, he's wearing the Thouser belt. We look what I bought off away. <laughs> oh, my God. Five hearts cross. <laughs> Holy shit, I work for Heat and Intelligence. Tom, I want to get a tattoo of the Heat and Little My name's Thouser, I like lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tom, for giving us that joke. I mean, that was from Jack's film, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, Tom made it funnier. What's up, it's your boy, Two Forms? What's up? <laughs> so, anyways. making Classy. Nice. So, I want... This episode was amazing. I want to bring attention to the fact 
that I jokingly predicted this episode on the uh, the second episode of Pure Me Jerk. Uh huh. When I'm not even joking, we were talking about the Masked Men and how they can be anything, and I said I want a super glue Masked Men, and they listened. They did, and boy, they. I did. like how we were watching the episode, and we went to that whole segment where they revealed the the Sechakuzai Jamen, the the glue mask monster. <laughs> And we're laughing our asses off, and I don't think I heard a word out of your mouth for at least five minutes. Ooh, but mine? Because yeah. you remembered that... <laughs> yeah, because I was just like, okay, yes, um, show me... <laughs> this these... caters to my interests. Yes, show me these beautiful Japanese people stuck in glue for reasons that have nothing to do with me being an absolute weirdo. <laughs> uh, not like, I draw all sorts of glue in images uh, for my own and other people on the internet's amusement. But I'm just like, literally, if I wrote an episode, this would be the episode I would have I written. I completely forgot about that for some reason. I don't know why, but I did. Gar is, once again, raising his hand on an audio podcast. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. For some reason, I did not hear Emily, my, my headset. Uh, I didn't say anything important. Emily, everything you say is important. No, I'm serious. No, I, I literally can't hear her. Everyone have audio problems. Do you want to put on speaker? No, no, no. Hang on, no, hang on, hang on. I just need to reconnect my Bluetooth. Do that. Right, I can uh, just... Emily, can you hear me? Yes. I see your light blinking on your headset. Anyway, you, Anyways. Fix, you fix that. So, yes, we get the Sachakuzai Jamen, which goes around gluing people to things, including but holes and mailboxes. But he's not just trying to trap people in glue, because he doesn't, like, attack... Like, He's gluing garbage to people. He wants yeah. to make a love match between people and various random objects. Apparently. Well, you know what? With you know, I've got some friends that are really dating some garbage people, so I would say <laughs> it's fair. I love who how doesn't like, know it's... like one person like man that person treats you badly. They're garbage. Why do you love them? Yeah, I love how eccentric this thing is. You know what? He's the... all like coy and playful. Yeah, and he's just you know what? It's literally me if we're like okay, you want to be my one. I want to just like shoot glue at people and glue people to interesting things and weird shit to people. And man, does it look awkward when he's just shooting goo everywhere. Yeah, I, they probably should have made it like orangish. What? Or... No, I need like, other colors. Just... Yeah, it was it was a little bit uh, I don't know, can we say the word? I don't. Oh, it's, was. it's a little uh, seminal. It, no, no. It, well, that's the that. It was. Uh, it was bukkake esque. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, that's my new word. Bukkake esque. Bukkake like. Yeah, bukkake adjacent. <laughs> but uh, luckily, like um, they, it didn't. It kind of shot in CG. It didn't spray. If it sprayed, it would have been worse. Yeah. Like, there was this creature in Comic-Con. It wasn't a stream, it was just, like, globs every year and there. Yeah, globs are okay. Are Um, they? Well, it's better. I mean, it aired, so I guess someone greenlit it. It was just making me think of um, that that slime shooting um, water gun that came out. Okay, and then we had that shot of Senna straddling an armor. Okay, so let me me defend why that's not sexual, Okay. Uh, the reason that's not sexual... None of it is, is sexual. Well, no, I mean, but the pose looks really weird. Uh, she probably tried to vault over it, because she's an athlete, and that's... Uh, and that literally her sense. hand stuck, and then her butt hit it. Freaking the sword thing <laughs> killed <laughs> me. Where they get their swords stuck Yeah, and, and then, like, later later on, you just see Shigeru still holding his sword with the other sword stuck to it. I just, he doesn't know what to do with it. It looked like a giant boomerang. I will keep saying this this whole show. The humor in the show is fucking fantastic. Oh, the physical sure. comedy, the dialogue, the yeah. humor is just The so one that slayed me yeah. is right near the beginning. He picks up, like, a trash thing, and he just throws it, sticks to the back of the girl, she goes, poof! Like, oh yeah, he throws a trash bin at someone. Yeah. I'm the trash man! <laughs> well, it just, this working. episode, I, I agree, this episode was genuinely hilarious. A lot of it had to do with the whole concept of having a public face and a private face. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into her in a sec. What were you saying, Gar? Can I briefly talk about what I thought of the last two episodes? Yes, please. Thinking. Yes. Alright, episode 18, Turning Evil. Fucking amazing episode. Favorite part of it was when they were fighting Gar- uh, Garza. Yeah, of course. Uh, I like the symbolism when they tore out the monster when they tore out the monster of Takamichi and the clouds fading away from, yeah. like moving away from the sun. That's nice symbolism. Uh, 
the Calamity Monstone reminded me a lot of Dark Lugia from Ultrain Ginga. Oh, yeah. In uh, color wise, I prefer uh, Dark Lugia from Pokemon XD. I thought you said Dark Lugia too, actually. <laughs> uh, Dark Lugia. Um, I like how the Grantor Stones all have a different name. It, it, it makes them more unique. Yes. Uh, kind of reminds me of the Infinity Stones in a sense. And uh, the only con that I had with the episode was the Yodon Changer, because it was just a one-time thing. Now chances are, yep. like, like the whole pers- like possessive evil thing could have been good. Like, like it was a good thing, but I think they didn't need to waste money and a premium Bandai item just to have a evil changer. I will retract that comment if it does come back in the future. Yeah. Uh, episode 19, fucking hilarious, and all the actors and suit actors did a fantastic job of being very expressive and a 180 of their character. So good. It heavily reminded me of an episode of Ranger where one of the dinosaurs became a child. Oh. <laughs> uh, my favorite joke is, of course, when the mooks switch faces and the monster's yelling. It's like, you both have the same face. It's, <laughs> there is no difference. Yeah. Uh, the, ho- the home and loan thing was a kind of a funny joke as well. Yeah. The mortgage monster. Yeah. And yeah, that's all I had to say. Okay. I had like a lot more notes, so I just speed, I spent for the speed run through. Uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah. this episode, episode 20, A Dangerous Pair. Holy shit. It's... Hey, remember Kakihara from episode zero? She's back in pog form. Hey, remember those other two students from episode one? That... No. Really? You don't? I don't. And Ju- I still Ju- haven't watched Ju- episode zero. <laughs> this episode was just fucking amazing from start to finish. Like, Literally. Sexual kind of cycle, mother? Yeah, there was nothing bad about this episode, in my opinion. Like, it was so good. One of my favorite parts is, like, where they go back, because, like, uh, they get glued, Jewel and what's face get glued together. And they go back to the base, all of them are, like, untransformed except for Jewel, and, like... Which They're trying sucks. to keep his identity secret, yeah. and which, which, uh, it goes with... When people see his face, bad things happen. Spooky things. Um, is that really the path you want to go on? Right. Um, which Sayo was wearing, like, a really adult-looking outfit. It looked really... It, it's a suit, doctor's coat. Yeah, it looked... No, but she was wearing, like, this cool dress with it, too. And it just looked really good on her. I like when Sayo does her doctor thing. Yes. It makes us remember that she's a doctor. Sayo's doing that doctor thing? No. Uh, yeah. So just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she grew I just triggered Sayo's like... Doctor. OG One Piece song. Agreed. Um, Agreed. Um, every so often that song just gets stuck in my head for it's some It's okay, because One Piece is ending in four years. His name's Zolo, which four is like a Four five years. Hopefully um, four. That's weird. So she goes up to each of them going like, Oh my god, I know, you. I know you for your thing! Oh my god, Sayo, I've seen you on TV! <laughs> Sayo, you're so cute and freaking awesome! Uh, tell, tell him, my, my brother, brother knows you! What you do? And then they show a shot of him gaming and point at a guy in a chair being like, That's her yeah, brother. That's, that's her brother. <laughs> I didn't notice that actually. I, I especially like the like it, it it's a it's a quick thing and you miss it thing. But when she points to Tommy Tomo, his his eyebrows go up like holy shit, someone knows me? <laughs> because in the first Am I episode, a famous? Yeah, because in the first episode he's like, Who are you? Dude, I'm Tommy Tomo, you know greatest league gamer? But like, okay, you know? how like you know, cute, friend Aaron. It was so cute and wholesome. Uh, Juru stuck to the girl. Like, it just, it was so good. It was like, it was like a well-written fanfiction.net story. (laughs) Well, you ever go to fanfiction.net? It might even be Wattpad. Go to fanfiction.net and type stuck together. You will find uh, that story from, like, Naruto, Bleach, A million times. NCIS, Supernatural. Like, that thing is, like, two characters stuck together and realizing oh. that maybe they get along now. Well, there was a Lilo and Stitch episode with the same plot, too. There was there an experiment. actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's yeah, actually... Uh, an the funny... experiment that attaches people together who won't get oh, along. Yeah, I remember that episode. There's yeah. actually... Uh, that's actually... There's a trope. Uh, called, it's called Chain Heat, which is based on, like, the two, like, lawmen that are handcuffed together and they have to work together. Oh, that's um, a movie Like, like yeah. Keichiro and that pillar. Yeah, well, it's based on uh, the Looney Tunes episode named after a movie. Um, but, uh, it, that's, a, that's actually, there's hundreds of entries of just, like, these uh, things. Uh, and the funny thing is, is they've done it before in Super Sentai at least twice. Oh, yeah, they did in Shikenger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with that really 
Yeah, with like, the, like with the hand go- goofy ro- like rope thing. Yeah, like Samurai did as yeah. well because you know Samurai. Yeah. Just oh yeah, they also the had an episode version. in uh, Go Buster where it was like like magnetic glue. Yeah. Um, but this one before we get yeah. more into that, I just want to point out one thing I, that I thought was pretty cool is Tommy Tomo pulls out his amazing gamer brain and shoots the nozzle shut with his fucking disc shooter. Yeah, no, the he's same so, way he did with the joystick. Yeah, he's so he's so smart with those things. So like, props to Tommy for that shit. Well, I just like okay, dude, we were talking about Ishinaka walking in and be like, "Hey, Juro, how's it going? Why are you holding that girl's hand?" Yeah, we oh, we like knew that was gonna happen. She fucking ruined everything. We knew that was gonna happen. That was so <sighs> funny. We like we see Takamichi come in like he's gonna call Jewel by his name and give away his identity, <laughs> yeah. and then the stupid asshole goes and does it. But I think like Lane was mentioning the humor in this, show, <coughs> it's really good. Like when Takamichi walks in, you know he does the whole thing. You see Shigeru in the background, like he's standing up, his eyes wide and like, and he just hits the wall every time. He's like. Fuck! <laughs> who wants? Okay, who? I wanted so bad for someone to just like dive at him to stop him. <laughs> okay, what is that girl's name? The uh, Takihara, the, the new, the, the new girl. Takihara. Takihara. Who wants her to be the seventh? Absolutely. Uh, She's basically practiced being a Kira Major by this episode. She has piloted Kira May Violet. Let's go. She has piloted a sword. Let's fucking go, Kira May Violet. Make there it happen. There was a moment. There was a moment where he's like, "I can't believe we're still stuck together," and she's like squeezing his hand, like yeah. And I'm like, oh. it was also nice attention and detail when blue, yellow, and pink were like, oh, to be so young." And I'm like, I didn't catch that on the first time when I came in. You guys were watching. I'm like, oh, they know. Yeah, that. no, absolutely. We even us watching, like Jules, like, oh no, we killed the monster, but we're still stuck together. We all knew, like. She's just holding his hand. She likes. I him. love. I love that yeah. he's like shit. I gotta go to school. So they put print this design as this disguise. <laughs> oh, this is with the mask is... and everything. I'm. I'm her yeah. brother. Yeah, and, and then, then like nobody the, like, falls no, for it. It's you. <laughs> we're, like it, it's like we're not more. Oh, shut up. Yeah. I'm not Count Olaf. Said Count Olaf. I love it because you know that in like most anime and shows like this, any time that a disguise is used. More often than not, it works. But for them to just have the absolute hoods about it, just walk in with a disguise and then have them go, no, you're fucking not, and rip it off immediately. Oh, my, oh, name is, my name is Stefano. I'm, I'm an Italian man. And, uh, <laughs> the movie never happened. Kind of that movie was good, though. But it's it's uh, it's kind of kind of not really good adaptation it's a good it's, no, it's a good I, movie, but it's not a it's good adaptation not good performances like jim carrey nailed it and uh what's her name the girl who played violet she's beautiful like she's just got such a nice nice kind of face shape <laughs> i really enjoy your face shape yeah speaking of weird face shapes <laughs> i'm kind of disappointed that kakihara had like almost no visible reaction to mabushina yeah, well, it's like, well, it's well, like no one does! It's the, stones, the stones are talking, a stone person is talking, well, shut up, stones! <laughs> no, I really hope that one day someone sees Mabushi and they just go, ah! Like I did? Yeah. Well, no, no. Remember that episode of Futurama when Fry's girlfriend gets unfrozen? Yeah. And meets everyone? Yeah. And just, hi, I'm this, ah! hi, I'm that. Yeah, and it's just like, this is Dr. Zoidberg. She just looks at him, he. No, no, no. Oh, he no, screams at her. It's, no, it's Professor Farnsworth. This is Professor Farnsworth. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Nods. Yes, you should scream. Uh, and, you know, the other big, you know, the biggest trope of this is in, like, an early season of Family Guy when Brian and Stewie get their hands stuck with, uh, like, really oh, the, su- hard... the super adhesive? Yeah, yeah the yeah. super adhesive. Yeah. Yep. My wife's down a well. Can you go in there and get her? <laughs> hey, my wife! Hey, that was my wife! Yeah. <laughs> tee, tee, tee. Well, we do have someone with really long arms, but he's tickling that kid up in that tree there. Tee, tee. Um, <laughs> so they, they they have to go out again to fight the monster, and Jewel and Kakihara end up coming up with amazing battle plans, and We're then we get the most adorable thing in the whole show: the dancing roll call of Kirame Red and Kakihara. Oh and they my get God. their own, like, double pose. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Like, so, I saw someone post a picture of it earlier. Put it up again. Like, 
I know every time people are like, oh, now I ship them. It, it's it's kind of cringe, but, like, this is pretty sure, like, this is a thing. Is the, like, it's not cringe. They're both the same age. No, no, I mean, like, usually when people ship characters, like, it's a little awkward, but, like, this seems destined. Like, well, if they, they, the thing is, ultimately, yeah. ultimately yeah, as that. a fandom, for fictional characters, you can ship whoever you want. But sometimes oh. you're doing a stretch where you're just like, I, it's who I'd like to see as a ship. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I'd like, you know, it's like, a uh, couple of characters that don't have any romance. You just you you would like to see it. Reminder: um, This is not a thing you should do. It's bad. I don't agree. But <laughs> anyway, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, anyways, this is actually there is chemistry between them. There they had romantic moments. I actually like that they went over and explained like his drawing of her because like she she interpreted it as being like oh you think I'm this horrible person with all these dark images of me, and he went on to explain that no it. It means you're powerful and cunning and cool, and I and I you have this power that I don't have, and I admire yeah, that in you. Yeah, like I admire that you can do the bad things that I can't. <laughs> it's I, a little, it's you, a little twisty and weird, but he he arrives at a good point. You know, what? I, I want to mention a thing. Okay, so this is 2020, and this episode was you know recorded this year. Um, she was flipping around, she was doing all sorts of stuff, and never once did you see her underwear hit that skirt, and they worked really hard for that. We're watching episode one of Juve Ranger, and two schoolgirls flash the ca- yep. flash the camera because of wind, and I'm just like, oh boy. how much has changed? Different eras. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I especially liked how uh, she showed her true self when it's like, you're famous, you're famous, you're famous, you're famous. You're probably famous too. When she finds out it's Jewel, that's gone. <laughs> Fucking why? Yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, it's. Yeah, yeah. And, and we we find out that the reason that Jewel made that drawing of her in episode zero was not because he saw her in a negative way. It's... I I mentioned that already. Yeah, I stopped looking. At yeah, the problem. thing is, she's she's like playing the honor student, like she's acting like she's a perfect student, but she really she's to kind be of good like girl. Well, anyways, Which actually like, she is bad girl. I liked what Jewel said about her, how yes. very cunning and powerful she was. Cunningful. Yes. If you will. She's manipulative. He calls her cunning. Also, she's like that almost sounds dirty. There's also a thing where she thinks the only thing desirable about herself is the persona that she puts out to people. And he's just like, no, the real you is what's desirable. You you you, you need to find people that see that. Yeah. So, so, it's, so it's the typical high school cliche of having a persona while you're at school. Persona! I tried to beat him to it. <laughs> um, so they come up with this amazing plan where they take all of the shit that the, the, the monster has glued together and just like... Make a giant hammer. Hammer. They oh, make a great. giant hammer and just... <laughs> Not even like an actual he saw to. They, hey, just, they just dropped the trash hammer on him. It's ham- it's hammer time. And you actually see him like squish and explode. Is that like oh yeah, he freaking sticks a mook to uh Jewel's back. Oh yeah, and like when they're talking, like after the monsters <laughs> the the mook's still there on the back, just like tilting his head going, Hey, what you talking about? Young Jewel. Young and then they Jewel, just you're, shoot him you're dead. Dead. <laughs> They just dust him. <laughs> <laughs> Really? So yeah, take this guy. Some Vulcan. Yeah. Reminded me of uh, what's his name um, from um, Real Soldier, who how he would like to abuse the books. Bamba? No, no, the, no. Um, crayon. Crayon. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Here, um, take this goo. Oh, yeah. Drink my goo. <laughs> um. So then we get the the giant monster, which is Sechakuzai Shelga. Which has a creepy fucking skull made of glue. Are you that sure? was interesting. Yeah, Are you sure it's does. not skull? I said skull. Or I mean school. Oh, it's school oh, glue. Right oh, skull glue. Emily gets it. Ah, skull, school glue. I get it. It's, it's fun. I prefer glue, glue sticks over actual glue. Um, I love that the monster just straight up punts a building at them. And then it glues to another building. Yeah. Imagine in there and you're just like, now what? Oh man, I want this day to fucking end. Yeet. Fuck! Hey look, it's the company we're gonna merge with tomorrow. I guess we're yeah, merging. That's what I, I was guess- thinking too, but I couldn't I guess, make a good joke. I guess joke. we're merging today. Yeah. <laughs> wait, are Synergy. We, wait, are we, mo- are we merging physically or literally? Yes. <laughs> oh man, I hope we have insurance. 
<laughs> and then they do a combined form. Oh my god! By gluing, he's like he gets shot in the back. Oh, and he, okay. And this, it's just I them glued say, together, butt to butt. Yeah. This I want to say is a joke on the fact that the mechs don't actually combine with yeah. each other. I imagine they got a lot of comments like, "When are the mechs gonna combine?" And they went, "Here you go." Well, because well, you know it's the, you know it's the big trope in Super Sentai nowadays. When the Six Ranger shows up, the main team combines with the Six. Yeah. To make a bigger Zord. However, Kira where's Major, our Cho Cho Tokyo Dio? Yeah, but with like you know Kira Major, none of the mechs properly combine. Which, by the way, the in episode eighteen with the whole gigant driller with the construction vehicles, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, good CGI there. Uh, but I, I thought it was very clever and just a jab at the... Yeah. See? They combined. You just have to use glue. You have to use glue. Now so the Megazords glue each other back to back so and that, call themselves Kirame Driller. So for those that don't know, collecting all the Kirame mechs. I, I, I don't want to try it, <laughs> but I kind of want to recreate the pose that we're Some in. fucking kid, kid's going to take some glue and do it. Absolutely. It'll, forever. It'll be on Kezo's channel by the week. <laughs> yep. Just just do it with the candy toys. Modify the candy toys. Oh yeah, get the mini puzzles. Yeah, 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 yeah. You cut out the you cut out the backs of each other and you make like a stick <laughs> to put it together. Look, I have Kira made Driller. Oh my goodness. And then they did the funniest shit ever. <laughs> they spun the top half of the Megazord around. And had that be its finishing attack. And it just went down the road like that. <laughs> and then the legs just, yeah, the legs just trudge, like, trudge forward while the top half of of Driller, glued to the entirety of Curvagen, just goes fucking, whoa! <laughs> and then they just pile into the monster and kill it. It's not like fucking R2 there. It's <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, so yeah, they defeat the monster. The, the cute little moment of like, oh, she, she's just been holding Jules' handle since the yep. monster was destroyed. I, I just my heart oh. fucking sank. I, I, I hope they make it out okay. I hope they make out okay. Cure Major, Cure Major, <laughs> and, uh, V Cinema. They're gonna. Oh god. <laughs> Cure Major V Cinema. It's like, oh, we're engaged. <laughs> fucking, pro fucking probably. Jules, what are you gonna do for work? Uh, <laughs> artist. Can he make it? He just draws himself a fucking giant check. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mobile banking apps will definitely accept us. Where's this money coming from? Yes! I drive. <laughs> yeah. It's life. Um, so the episode ends with her, with, uh, Jewel giving her drawing lessons, which is super adorable. Yeah. She's terrible at it, but she'll improve. I can't help and then, it now. And then they like, the it's like, it's like, oh, why'd you make Jewel look like he's shining? It's like he doesn't shine. She just looks over. Yes, he does. Fuck you. At least I'm gonna show up one more time on like YouTube. I really like. Aside from all our wishing that they'll they'll be together, I just hope at bare minimum that we actually do see her again on a regular basis. I really hope so too. Because I, I feel like they put too much into her character development from this episode to just drop her To be her the hair. last time we see her. Because, like, yeah. we haven't seen her in, like, 19 episodes, so hopefully that does not repeat. Maybe not every episode, but I would like to see her, like, once a month. Yeah. Or, like, maybe she, like, maybe, like, in the next filler episode, she shows up crashed at the Kira Major lab. Like, yeah. not, like, crashing it, but no, she's just, like, sitting there. She's just chilling. Sofa. Yeah, just chilling. It's like, well, since I know you guys are the Kira Majors, I thought, you know, I'd just sit here and relax. And it's like, I could be a hero, too, and she makes up, like... She just has a part-time job at Carrot? No, yeah, or, like, she, you know, the whole Abra Pink thing? She yeah. makes, like, a Kira May White. Oh, God. <laughs> and it's like, Kira May White, and they're like, what? Yeah. Um, the funniest fucking shit... When the ending of, when the ending song starts, they were like, "Look, we finally combined the two Megazords!" And then Hakatami now he just comes racing in from the side frame and goes, "It'll never happen again!" And like, so if someone, I die. If someone can get a screenshot of that, we're gonna get that in the thumbnail. But if someone in the Discord can make the him making the X as an uh, like emote in that, the chat. That has great. to be an emote and a meme and whatever going that forward. Would be good. A good holy emote. fuck! I almost collapsed laughing. That's so funny. We are never doing that again. 
<laughs> never, never see it again. His fucking face. <laughs> he just like, it's like, Pah! he just comes in like, eh! No, that could, that's just so funny. Freaking he knows oh, about okay. what things can be combined. I mean. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier in the episode when they were t when they were he in the car base moment, yeah. talking about the glue. He like did it like when they combined. They're like, Ugh. I'm like, you fucking yeah. did it again. <laughs> I saw that. We get it. We get it. You're the peepack guy. So yeah, uh, pretty good filler episode. Yeah, I I, I went. It's safe to say. Well, I don't want to call it filler, it, but. Well, we did, like, just start plot episodes. Yeah, but it, it is filler. Yeah. But it's good filler. Yes. It's filler that fills. Yes. It's filler that fills in the floor. Or, uh, the, the floor? I said lore. Uh, nope. Floor it, now. Okay. Yeah. That's it, another it, Cash Ranger word. Just, like, fuck shit's Dexord and Hashtag Affirmination. Yeah, see? It's another Garism. Oh, okay. I, sub I subscribe to the floor. <laughs> so, um... Next week, they're after another piece of the great or greater? The, the MacGuffin the, stones. The Kanai stones, the Dragon Balls, the Infinity Stones, the, the, the MacGuffin crystals. The one the, piece. The, the one piece. <laughs> the four piece. The four the piece. The four I'll piece take, chicken I'll McNugget. I'll, I'll, I'll take a four piece fries. Yeah, I was four piece chicken McNuggets. Four piece uh, chicken McCrystal. six, please. And a large Coke, which I now actually want and will get when I drive you home. <laughs> So. Oh. <laughs> it's, like, it's warm now. No, it's still cold. You don't want it? You can have it. Okay. I'll get one on my own. But thank you, though. <laughs> <laughs> but now, everyone. <laughs> Vegas thought each you said muffin stones. Anyways, <laughs> Cure is... Major. Depends still, how long you've let them Still sit. a mix. Uh, wait, go up for a sec. Go up. Uh, uh, uh. No, go up more. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Just the very top. Thank you. Uh, 20, 20 episodes into Carrie Major still, and it's still fucking strong. It's fucking great. I love it. Love it. I'm really enjoying it, too. Well, everyone, I think it's now time for story time. Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, between sections, Emily had to leap. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I am so glad I didn't see you taking that. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> wow. That's gotta be in the thumbnail. Oh god, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Emily, Emily had to leave because she has obligations, but uh, the rest of us are here to talk about episodes one and two of. <laughs> Fucking cure you, Sentai Z Ranger. Car, looks like you have something important to say to us. <laughs> Can that be an emote? <laughs> no. I want to take you all back. Back to the past? To a time where things were very different. A Tigers time, were dinosaurs. A time that we can't possibly imagine now. The far off year of 19 something. And a time we may never see again. Because time goes forward. Because, you know. I am, I am, of course, referring to February of this year. Oh. <laughs> Man, that was the, a good time. The before days. When you could, like, go out and talk to people. And watch a movie. Yeah. Eat so, the Mandarin. So, back in oh, February, God. we discussed the first three episodes of Trojan Sentai Jetman. Oh, yeah. The Super Sentai season that was, at the time, meant to be the end. But the show was a success... And another season was planned. <laughs> Shit, fuck, throw another Sentai together! Uh, with the franchise in need of a new head writer, as a reminder, veteran Super Sentai head writer Hiroshi Soda stepped down, with, Tuna, with Inoue Toshihiki taking over for Jetman, toy producers gave the reins over to Noboru Su uh, Sugimura, who was the head writer for the last three Metal Hero shows, Jiban, Windspector, and Soul Brain, and was also the head writer for Kamen Rider Black. So you said Javon and my brain, which has been hearing nothing but Yokai Watch in FF14 for the last couple Javanian. weeks. Javanian! 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 Pretty busy right now. Everyone's hunting Yokai, and I'm over here just trying to do roulettes. Anyways, uh, he was going to be the head writer for the following three years, also writing Die Ranger, Cocker Ranger, and O Ranger. Oh, two of those shows are good. One of them <laughs> might be good. And the other is Cocker Ranger. <laughs> oh, oh my god, Vegas. It's like, I was there. Tom called my mom a three headed bitch. 
I remember that. How how is the three headed bitch? Is she good? Tell her I said one, one of the heads. Is Tell her I said hi hi hi. Puffy uh, Yumi? Now unlike Jetman, which to put lightly was written for a much older, They're fine. mature crowd, uh, the producers realized they need children to watch the show. Uh, so the idea of making it a fantasy themed season was put into works. Take that, me- that's a broad. If you watch the show, it's very fantasy. It's uh, like heavy on the fantasy. fairy tales, fantasy. It is more fantasy than the you know, Ryu soldier, and like it's like we're talking. They go to enchanted forests and fight mushrooms. That's okay. I'm looking forward to Saber. Now, taking inspiration from the Dragon Quest video games and the bestseller novel Jurassic Park. That's why I don't like it. The idea for the season would have ancient guardian beasts and their respective partners. Now, although only two of the five rangers are actually based on dinosaurs... Yeah, right? Like, did, was that ever explained? Uh, so, concept... Uh, so, here's here's what they had, uh, background-wise. Dinosaurs, get this, E.G., uh-huh. weren't that very popular. <laughs> because dinosaurs are giant lizard creatures, which, you know, could be referred to as monsters. I mean, they're basically kaiju. Exactly. No one wants to root for the kaijus. They're monsters. They don't want to root for the kaijus. They want to root for the Jew rangers. Yeah. So, you know, to make it easy, two of them, which red and blue, are actually dinosaurs. Where if Cell was here, he would explain that mammoths, tigers, and pterodactyls oh my. are not dinosaurs. But still, the show was titled Kyoryu Sentai Jew Ranger. Which confused a lot of fans, thinking ten rangers were going to appear in the show because of the word Jew in the title, uh, which could represent as ten rangers. But Jew also means beast. But instead, it's zoo, like Z-Y-U, as in beast. Exactly. So it's dinosaur squadron beast ranger. Just like zoo Yeah, much like how zoo and jew And that's where the joke of Q-Ranger got it when Show Rampo became a ranger. He's like, for now on, we are the Jew Rangers. (laughs) Now, uh, uh, for full thing, Haim Sabin himself has made the joke about how it was meant to be that he was a Jewish man and he, and the next one came out with Jew Ranger. That joke has been made. It's out there. It's also stale. It is stale, but it's like, we know. You don't have to make that joke. You can just call it Jew Ranger. You don't have to make... Yeah, any jokes. It says, back... it says Z on the buckle. It's yeah. Zoo Ranger. It says and Z. It's pronounced Jew Ranger. But the thing is, the only... And the thing is, they're not actually Jewish. Only Reed is Jewish. <laughs> and, remember she had the traditional Jewish wedding. <laughs> and, and the official English titling is Zoo Ranger. Because in my hand, I hold the first ever official Super Sentai show on DVD in, in the West. Which, now that I look back on this... I remember hating this so much. I can see that. No, no, no like, I mostly hated it because I hated how they started with Jew Ranger and not Go Ranger. Well, can you blame them? Yeah, like, it's like, okay, I can, because, you know, before Power Rangers, there was Super Sentai. Yeah. I'm also happy that later on they actually add the full title and not just Jew Ranger, the complete series. So it ended up being, like, Choriki Sentai O-Ranger, the complete series. Yeah. <laughs> let 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 me just preface what we're going to say by saying that while I am nostalgic by Mighty Mor- of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, I am in no way beholden to it. I also I, I don't I don't claim that Mighty Morphin is amazing by today's standards or like even back then it was not super amazing. Like, it was like, just something I hadn't seen before. It's just weird to think that like there's many people, including Hasbro and Bandai of America. Hamming, like hamming down the fact of Mighty Morphin being the very first and it being the biggest in the whole pop culture, like this zeitgeist. Style, yeah, zeitgeist thing or zeitgeist. zeitgeist yeah. Yeah. Uh, was Mighty Morphin really that good? Uh, eh? At least you the know first what? season wasn't. In the landscape that it came out in, there was nothing like it. Exactly. And it literally was a good show that came out at the perfect time to be a great show. Because I remember, now you guys are a little too young to remember the debut of this show. I didn't exist yet. Yeah. I was I, I remember watching like other shit, like on TV, and literally, there's no hype, like I hadn't heard of it, there's no internet. And it was literally like, 
Coming up next, they're it's like they're superheroes. They're dinosaurs. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on Fox WTV next. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? Nice job, Decker extracted the, the they'll never be seen yeah. again meme. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I watched it, and the thing is, like, I was into Bruce Lee movies at the time. I liked, like, ninjas. And it was just, it was unlike anything anyone had seen. And it was like, we're talking, it took fucking weeks for us to talk about school. So like, you realize that it was a Japanese show, right? And I'm like, no. It's like, anything we're in the suits, man, it was from, like, a Japanese show, man. And, and, and the thing is, like, at, at the time, it was the show that we we deserved. Yeah. But the, the thing is, is that I tried to rewatch Mighty Morphin on Netflix. I can't do it. Like, I remember we were watching a few episodes for the uh, Robert Axelrod, and I was like, oh, this show, this is cringy. It's also <laughs> currently rumored that Power Rangers may actually be leaving Netflix next year. Oh. Because, you know, all of Hasbro shows are on Tubi. Rip. So it may just be moving to Tubi. But anyway, that so, yeah. Um, I watched this a couple of years ago. Like, I was just like, you know, I saw that it was on Show Factory, and I was like, you know what? I always wanted to see it. And, <laughs> <laughs> we'll never see her again. No. And uh, so that, I. Uh, that image can go with anything. Yeah. C- can you put a picture of of that just in front of any picture of uh, of Gar? Yes. <laughs> like maybe Captain Two Hands. No. Yes. That's not. Oh, well, you want, no, that's, no, that's, no uh, I mean like a character. We're gonna you know, like the death of Aka Yellow. Aka Yellow. Oh. Yeah. Put over Aka Yellow. Uh, uh, but anyway, so uh, but the, here here here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, I so I I watched you Ranger, and of course the first two episodes are a little hard to kind of get into because it's it's kind of dumb. Fuck, man, that's true. However, by the time <laughs> I was like seven or eight episodes in, I was hooked. It because the show, first of all, the things that make Power Rangers so dated are like the '90s references and the fact that they were trying. It, you can see the holes in the translation. Like, the fact that the stories don't make a lot of sense, characters appearing and disappearing to fit the footage. This feels natural, and it aged better. I actually found it to be really watchable. And I ended up watching pretty much the whole... I binged the whole series. Then I watched Die Ranger. Then I watched Jetman. I'm, I, I'm sure it gets better from here, because I've seen... <laughs> I've seen I've seen posts from more than one person. After watching Zoo Ranger, they went, Fuck Tommy, but rise way better. Oh yeah. So, well, here's like, the thing. Like, like, let's, <laughs> we're not going to get too much into that because we'll eventually talk about more like, Z-Ranger. Like, I just wanted to address how it's kind of funny that Tom brought his legacy Dragon Dagger in Green Ranger Warper when Barai doesn't even show up until episode Oh, he's, he's wearing the Red Ranger shirt. I'm wearing the Red Ranger shirt and I have three Morphers. I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> it, it all works. I, I literally have I have three set up. One's got the the Mammoth, one's got the Tyrannosaur. And, but I just literally just grabbed all of the fucking G-Ranger stuff that I had handy. I was going to bring my uh, my Megazord. I have the almost intact full Megazord. Like the, uh, but it's the black version. Ooh. Um, cool. It's missing a couple of pieces, but it's mostly all there. All right, let's get into the actual episodes. So, 170 million years ago... After 170 million years, I'm free! Basically. Uh, 170 million years ago... It's a lot more than 10,000. Yeah, the witch Pandora and her evil... And her evil goons decide to take over the world, wiping out all the dinosaurs, and it's explained in the finale why dinosaurs are no longer a thing. We won't spoil it now, because as Ichi mentioned... We'll probably be talking about the Shoe Ranger in the yeah. future. But, so, just, just think of something really, really bad. You know, child murder. And yeah. that's probably it. Oh, good. Uh, so, uh, oh, the, an the great wizard Barza. He's not that great. Who starts off the episode dressed up like fucking boot like Mario. Yeah. And like he puts one of his ears out and it's like a really that horrible... That fucking horrified me. No, but it's a uh, really, it was a really race, shitty prosthetic too. That race, those other members of that race, they do that shit a lot. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, oh, that's what Dabu's race looked like. <laughs> Deppin. Deppin. Like he grew, a, he grew a fucking elf ear, and I'm like, oh my god, it's Louis Swall Levier from FF14. So he, he and these great warriors 
from five different tribes. Like the tribes represent a different dinosaur or different be- guardian beast. Yeah. Uh, they they say, never do say dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah they call Well, them they do say I'm but pretty they sure they say, did say dinosaurs at some point. Like well, the age of the dinosaurs, but yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, they get sailed away on, not on the moon, but on a planet that only... Planet com- Nemesis. Nemesis. That only comes to Earth's orbit every 230 million And they years. fucking mean it, because they never mention that, that planet again. No, it's never brought up. It's like a fucking comet, it just whizzes by for when it's plot relevant, and then just fucks off into space. And yeah. since this is the 90s, fucking astronauts, and we gotta go check it out, because, you know, we're... We're humans. We're assholes about this. I love that, like, when they, after they free them, Bandora and her goons just fucking zap the astronauts and basically fling them into space to die. Yep. Yep. And we never see them again. So let's talk about who was which Bandora, which it's funny because for these Super Sentai tribute episodes, I've, I've shown you guys Queen Hedria from Denziman Sun Vulcan. So you can see where she came from in yes, Super Sentai. the same actress. Yeah. To where she is now, which I, we did talk about the Magi Ranger movie, right? I believe Yes, so. you did. In Magi March. Yeah. Magi yeah, so, so, it, so we have seen her final appearance in Was Super it? Sentai. Yeah. Huh? I guess it came back. Yes, uh, Psycho oh. Bell featured many Zoo Ranger references. Oh, so okay. Interesting. Amazing. Yeah, did, yeah. Well, here's the thing. It Nemesis was, Nemesis was the same planet, and the <coughs> weird, um, the weird, beautiful woman running it was named Rita. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna for, for those listening to the audio version. Orb in our chat just mentioned that Planet Nemesis was the planet from Super Sentai Smash. Oh, here's a fun thing. As a kid, when I watched the first episode of Power Rangers, you're like, "Oh, they're on the moon," and I'm like, "Why is it like daytime on the moon?" Right. Like, and then I was like, "That doesn't look like the moon." But the whole thing is, of course, they're not. And so when I watched it, like the original, like it's not the moon. She goes to the moon eventually. Yeah, 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 she travels to the moon in her Bandora Palace. Yeah, uh, fucking Bandora Palace Hotel and Casino. The fucking logo makes it look like it's a casino. And, <laughs> like, I, I, I saw that and I had to just go... <gasps> like, I did the nerd face where he's like... Uh, so, yeah, let's talk about uh, the other gen- uh, her generals. So, for... Swap yeah. that move, Finster... Uh, Goldar. I think you mean Butapaku, Totapapo, Pelipuikan, and Grifzora. Are you having a stroke? Grifzora. Grifzora. Yeah. You know, the, the, the Griffin that doesn't talk until his wife comes back many episodes later. Wait, is it is Scorpina? Yeah, Scorpina in the Sentai is his wife. Oh, shit. And no wonder want, they look similar. You want to know the funniest thing? Huh? Which Bondora, I hate you. Why? You finally give him back his voice, and you know what he tells me? Go make a bunch! <laughs> wow. Uh, older Wait, asshole. so Griforzer doesn't have a voice for a while? For 16 episodes, he just growls. Oh, shit. Because in the first episode... I know, guess that's why him, Goldar, and Mighty Morphin was like... Oh, no, we will get the Power Rangers. Wow. Interesting. Oh, it is I, Griforzer. And me and Bandora will take over the Power Rangers. But uh, you've noticed something about uh, the Japanese Finster's name that I, was, seems pretty obvious in retrospect. I, it, it didn't occur to me until recently. His name's Putty Putty Khan. And he plays with Putty. And he looks like a leprechaun. And he's, a leprechaun. he's the Putty Putty Leprechaun. <laughs> But I, I do agree Smart. with Wayne. Finster is a good name for him. It yes. really is. Whatever the fuck his other name is, no. Pretty pretty kind of. I do. I, you will never, and, and ever hear me say that. That's even his name. catchphrase. Pretty pretty. Of course it is, because he's a goddamn Pokemon. Fin- Finster is a much suitable name for him. So yes. A more suitable name. Yeah. I just love that like, when they get out of the space dumpster, they're like, How long have we been locked up in here? And, they're, and one of them is like, I don't know, give me the fucking calculator. These apparently 170 million year old aliens had a fucking calculator in their purse. Well, that that is the weird thing. They're never referred to as aliens, so they. The, oh, well, Bandora says she's originally from Earth. Yeah, so it it is. A Although these others clearly are alien. It is a possibility. Unless she made that them. These could, that these creatures may be from Earth. 170. Maybe they're clay monsters too. It could be, or it could just be. Oh, this isn't much of a spoiler, but. Satan shows up in there. Oh, yeah. We don't work so, so, so maybe they're from hell. Oh, that's actually a good theory. 
That is a good thing. Like, Pui Pui can, since he's a leprechaun, I could see him being from 170 million years ago. <laughs> His race just wiped out. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, Barza finds a Barza with his weird leprechaun ear or elf ear. He was he creepy and useless and weird. Well, it's because when sealing Witch Vondora away, he lost all of his magic. <laughs> he has a bit, and he knows a few spells. But again, 170 million years. I think you'll probably forget a thing or two. Man, did he level down? <laughs> you didn't level up. You just kept leveling down. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, his actor actually is no longer with us. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, so is Witch Vondora, and. Pretty, pretty uh, but we, we get to see Vandora ride her flying bike, which is weirdly oh, hilarious. I would love to see what the fucking, what they were smoking in the riders' room. Okay, we have this evil witch. What are we going to have a ride that's going to terrify children? He's going to ride a bicycle. An old, tiny, big-wheeled bicycle. <laughs> Anyone else got a good, a good idea? No, it's a bicycle. I wrote Common Rider Black. When I say ghost, god damn it! Might as well just be a tricycle. Jesus! Yes! Give him a raise! Uh, 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 I don't know why I gave him that voice. He's also dead, too. Jameson? Yeah. No, not Jameson. Uh, That's just a Pandora! Uh, the head writer of G-Ranger is also gone. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Man, a lot of people keep dying. But, like, Pandora, like, declares war on humanity and says all kinds of shit. Like, humanity is garbage. You believe in love. You should hate and kill each other, and kill yourselves! It's what, I'm like, whoa! It's just like you're saying, like, wow, a lot of people don't do it here. It's like, a few years from now, just like, oh, the uh, Barizak passed away. Ugh. <laughs> but it's like, it's one of those things where, like... You yes, you've seen the Fall Guys photo! You know how you see... You know what? Or, or, Fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punish you all for this. You know... No. Oh, no. Uh, but you know how, like... When you watch a show in its entirety, you're like, yeah, you I knew it. that's what you were but, doing. Yes, and when you go back to rewatch it, uh -huh. things just start to get like put together. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, it's like her saying that, like, you believe in love and like. There's a reason she dislikes love. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, oh, oh, no, it's like oh. it's like it's like in Mortal Kombat Annihilation, oh. when just like fucking, uh, oh, what the Sindel's just like. Love, I never loved you. <laughs> Mother, you're alive. Too bad you will die. <laughs> Kimberly, where are your friends? Friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any friends. <laughs> and sweetie, pick us out. <laughs> yeah, just fucking chase him, break his So, yeah, teeth. um, so Barza <laughs> realizes, now that, I almost called her Rita, now that Witch, <laughs> now that Witch Mondora's back, it's time. Time to wake the sleepy heads! Yeah, so apparently when they sealed her away 170 million years ago, take a shot every time I've said 170 million years. Uh, <laughs> like 170 million shots. Yeah, 170 they, million years? will give you such a crack in the neck! Wow! <laughs> it's good to me! So uh, they sealed away five warriors so that in case. Re Which one, <laughs> Every came, time. Yeah, if Which one, Dora ever came back. There's at least five warriors to save, uh, to defeat her. And just five warriors. There's not going to be another one 16 episodes in. Definitely not. <laughs> oh, no, there's totally not another guy somewhere there's else. another hallway down the hall. Yeah, he's just in a mountain over there. Oh. You know, outside the city. He's perfectly fine. Cool. Apparently no, he's not. <laughs> not fine. <laughs> uh, fun fact, though, about Barai. Uh, the creation of the Six Ranger concept was to increase viewership because, you know, with Jetman, it brought more viewers in. So to keep their attention, they're like, "Well, let's let's spice things up a bit. Let's have a permanent six ranger." Yeah, and that's why it, from Jew Ranger and all those there was knowing no what answers. I know about him, I don't think we can call him permanent. <laughs> Stays longer than one episode. Air quotes. Air big air quotes. Uh, so yes, we can have. I, I'm sorry. Just yeah. go back to the genie bit. Hey, can I call you Bar? <laughs> how about Zar? How about Barry? <laughs> you know. Like, Here, buddy. <laughs> so it's weird because like, like the giant doors with the freaking guardian beast on. I love it. Like this, this fucking ancient magical seal, and he's just like fumbling with keys, like he's trying to get into his. He gets to the Red Ranger door, just. Oh shit, I broke it. I broke the red Try, Tries to like blow it up with a fucking cannon. And then just, <laughs> even the Tyrannosaurus spirit is just like, no, I don't have fucking time for this shit. Enough of this. Just, just oh. opens the door himself. 
Why did you do that at all? And who must have the other than good old Common Rider J? He's not Common Rider J. Oh, he was in Jetman though for like two episodes. Oh. And he was, and Dan was also in. Uh, oh my God! Jet there's Man. a correlation. He was, a, he was Jay, Jetman, and Jackie. Fuck. Jackie. It's Jackie. I know. It's a joke. <laughs> Uh, so yes, let's talk the about third J. <laughs> let's talk about the our Rangers. We have Goshi, uh, Dan, uh, boy with with an eye. Yeah, <laughs> he, okay. Like no no offense to him or anything. That's it's just the funniest he had, he had a, name ever. He had a very odd looking face. What's up, boy? <laughs> yeah, boy. What's up, boy? <laughs> all I all I remember uh, about a boy focused episode is he got trained by a ninja and he could shadow clone jutsu himself. Oh, no. apparently his actor was in uh, Jiraiya. Oh, that Metal Hero show. Vision. Cool. And of course, May, who's which does not emote at all. No, like in the intro, you see, they get to her and she just pulls a bow like a back, no motion on her face. So it, dead faced. It, it, it's unfortunate when you know. We all watched the first three episodes of Jetman together. Yeah. Look how fully developed, or look how at least interesting the two female rangers were in that show. Yep. One was a rich girl that didn't want to live the rich life, and one of them was a high schooler. May is unfortunately just the girl. Yep. yep. They even make a joke about when Bars is opening up the doors, he goes up to May's door and says, May, there's no time to put on makeup. Let's go. Wow. Rude. Wow. You didn't say any, you didn't complain about anyone else. But with the girl, oh, it's, no, no, you can't put on makeup. Ha, <laughs> makeup, like me. <laughs> New the episode, makeup. No. So, so uh. Make out? Uh, Fine, whatever. There's something about May 3. I think it's just called <laughs> Pandora's Palace Hotel Casino. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, yeah. But so, I love that, like, when he opens their doors and wakes them up, they come out of, like, this weird flying sheet metal. It's the Phantom Zone. No, yeah, it's the fucking Phantom Zone from <laughs> Superman 2. <laughs> uh, I'm just picturing the family guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, that's my favorite. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Witch Pandora kidnapped two, two kids. And in and one I, hour, did I, I? I must have blinked and missed it. But how the fuck did they turn the spaceship tiny? Magic. <laughs> All right, cool. It, it, you want to question anything about Pandora? Magic. She she like takes the spaceship after yeeting the two adult astronauts into space. What happened to them? Dead. You see them spiral into the fucking space. Oh, fuck. It reminds me of fucking. It quickly reminds me of the first episode of Hurry Kinder, right? All the, like, you know how in Ninja Storm all the kids get kidnapped by the villain? No, but go on. Uh, in, in Hurry Kinder, dead. Oh, cool. The it, villains kill, I'm like, oh, they're gonna come back, right? I finished the show, and I'm like, they didn't come back. Oh my god, they're dead. Itchy. <laughs> Itchy, okay, for the, the size of the ship, what does her staff do in the show, in Power Rangers? Make my toy car grow! So you can imagine that can do the opposite? Yeah, that it's a, it's a size changing staff. That's that, you know what? That checks out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck I'm just thinking of the robot chicken sketch. Oh yeah, I'm Rhea Repulsa, and I can make your penis grow. No, my, my my brain always goes back to that one YouTuber, I can't remember his name, where he's like, What's up? I'm Sharita Repulsa. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my I, 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 I got a ah, my <laughs> evil tip! No, it's just here, it was worse as the grocery store. Bitch, I am the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> that video okay, is so funny. Better or yes. Spellcaster of Blaze, yes. It, it, that's, that was Common Rider Zoe. And yes, it was ironic that boy became no, a girl. No, no, no. It was Common Rider J. No, is it J? Okay. Not Zoe. No, okay, so story time. I'm at uh, MTAC a couple years ago wearing this actual shirt. The Red Ranger shirt. Uh, Red Ranger shirt. And a woman in a full Rita Repulsa costume comes <laughs> up and she points her staff at me and I go Pandora! <laughs> and she goes without missing me, Dora, Dora, Dora Dora, Dora, and she starts singing the song. Yeah, she, she has for this, who, yeah, for those who don't know, go ahead. Well, she has this song that she fucking sings 
and um, they all play in. And well, she sings like Thor, Thor, and then she starts rapping about how how many kids she's gonna murder and how terrible. <laughs> are. I kid you not. There's like dialogue like I want to throw them in a pit, set them on fire, pull their fingers off. Like I kid you not. Like these really brutal fucking pretty pretty graphic sounding. Her, her whole show. thing is she hates children and wants to kill them. But spoiler, there's one child that she will love. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh... I'm going to try and find a picture of it's that. It's a... Spoiler. It's Grafoser's baby. Yeah. He has a baby. Okay, so what did they call her? What did they call the Scorpion Girl in the... Scor- in the... Uh, I, I don't remember. I just call her Scorpina. Yeah, uh, Scorpina. In in this, she's uh, Lamia. And she actually has dialogue. Wow. Um, because they don't have to fuck with it or, you know, because she's yeah. a face character. But um, they have a baby and at the end... She's like, oh, I hate, I can't believe you've got this baby. Oh, but they're so cute. And then she starts, and then you see this, like, she's singing while knitting the baby. <laughs> is, is that what sort of starts her down the redemption path? Like, she realizes well, no, maybe that's, human children aren't so bad? Kind of, but that's, it, it's spoilers. That's the last time you see her. Oh, okay. Like, they put her back. I, it, no one's going to watch this. Like, if you do, you're going to forget. They put, she's put back in the dumpster at the end and launched into space. And oh, they're cool. all in there. And but with the baby, and she starts to love the, you know, she's like, oh, oh it's adorable. Maybe they get the load. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, so the four Rangers. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Um, we're watching this on Shut Factory TV. Oh, right? so by the way, so they maybe didn't... we should uh, fade out. Uh, oh well, that was weird. Oh, yeah. uh, I'll do that again. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. But, so anyway, uh, but uh, oh, so he says like it's five. Well, there's actually six. No, there's five point five people um, held. Uh, because uh, the whole thing about Borai is he bought the knockoff, you know, uh, uh, Superman 2 chamber. <laughs> like, they're all in that nice one, you know, there. He was in, like, one in the middle of fucking nowhere. He's sleeping in the... Yeah, the ancient and it utility. collapsed. It He's... collapsed while he was sleeping in he... this, like, yeah, that, demon. That, that, he was sleeping in the ancient boiler room. Well, Tom, yeah. Tom, let's just focus you know, on the you first know what? two episodes. You please. know what? You know what? They, he sealed himself in, in the Thouser office. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is this the- so yes, as we were saying, the the since the adult astronauts get yoked into space, <laughs> yoked. Um, Bandora kidnaps the children. Why- I don't know why there are children astronauts in this, but okay, let's. It's, it's, it's lost in space. It's the Robinsons. Fucking. You know what gets me though is is Lane. I think said then these kids are going to be traumatized, and I'm like, well, it's not just like you know the, all of the crazy shit they went through in the shrunken thing. It's a bit. Oh man, I'm, that was scary, but also kind of exciting. Okay, I should be okay. So where, where's the parents? <laughs> Points to the stars. <laughs> uh, where are the skis? He's, your dad's that star and like, your mom's that you one. See, you just see like a scene of just like Witch Pandora just like looking through a telescope. Ah, still fun. Yeah, they're out there. <laughs> and it's, you know what it is? It's like fucking Zod in, in the fucking thing. Uh, like rolling over in space. Yeah, because in the ending, like there's a, there's a shot that like I've always seen in Power Rangers where it's like her like just finishing looking like uh, through the telescope and she yeah. kind of just like tilts her head going. They reuse that mm-hmm. shot so I in that. almost every episode. Yeah, I love it though. Because that is the episode, because the thing is like obviously the plots. Okay, so. In this one, they don't interact as much. Like, she is, knows what's going on. Yeah. Um, and, um, but, so, in the Power Rangers show, to make it more cohesive, they really use that telescope thing to insinuate that she's following every part of their lives. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just wondering about this. They're up in space. How does she breathe? Magic. Magic. Uh, Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell me, Gar, how the fuck Sonic the Hedgehog and friends are able to breathe in space? I don't know. Tell me how they have a fax machine in space. <laughs> I've been watching Sonic X, and Jesus Christ. Did Sonic, like, hang out with the president? Yes! That was just the early series stuff. Now they're fucking caravanning oh, through right. space to find the Chaos Emeralds. Has Team Chaos I don't, come back? I, yes, I, I think, just watched that episode. I think, yeah. When somebody is introduced to you as the most powerful witch of all time, how she breathing in space answers itself. Yeah. She's the most powerful witch of all time. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? You know how some enemies, they talk a big game, but they really aren't that powerful? Uh-huh. Like Rita in the in Power Rangers. Yeah. Uh, Bandora backs it up. Like, there's actually times in this show where they try to fight her. And she owns them. Oh, cool. She can't do it for very long. But, like, she usually gets a squishy mage. Yeah, but I mean, like, 
Like, we're talking if the whole team ganged up on her, they might beat her. But, yeah. I mean, like, there's been times she where a couple of them... She just makes sure that doesn't happen. She just fucking smacks them around. Like, yeah. she's no slouch. And she's not... Okay, Rita, the whole thing about Rita is, is Rita's kind of dumb. <laughs> Rita will make strategic errors. Rita will do... This one, it's more like she's given it all she's got in the range, and the uh, Zoo, Zoo Rangers just overcome it. And she's just, like, well played. And she's enjoying fighting them. Yeah. But, uh, so the objective over these two episodes is to save these two astronaut children who are trapped in the space shuttle that has been reduced to the size of a remote control car. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Man, it's a rocket. Rockets explode. It's basically like watching the honor roller from Simpsons. Uh, so, yeah. like, so Goshi, Dan, Boy, and May all run into the Pandora's palace, and they end up on the beach. Yep. <laughs> Ichi, what do they see on the beach? Oh my god, this is probably my favorite scene in the episode. So they go into this like interdimensional beach, and then they turn around and see tiny little putty puppets dancing. And they're like, oh, they're cute. Oh and they goodness. lean in, and then fucking fists punch them in the fucking, fucking face. Fucking sucker punch. Oh my god. That was amazing. Well, one thing, okay, so a thing that they didn't translate is the putties, or I don't know what they're called here. I think they're golems. called golems. golems. Yeah. Yeah, the right. golems are actually kind of cunning. In a way that not like they're really intelligent, but you know how like goblins, for example, yeah. have that they have kind they of... have trickery. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they they cut out a lot of this. Like a lot of times, like they'll mask. They can actually masquerade as people, but when you yeah. touch them, they turn into the putties again. Yeah. In many more of them, they're just idiots that dance around going. Whoa, 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 well, you know the funny thing is, is that I realized watching whoa, whoa. it is like um, <laughs> most of the putty footage didn't they didn't reuse it because it wasn't that good. Yeah. Um, so, like, most of the putty footage that you see in Mighty Morphin is new. Like, the, yeah. because then you notice that they, nine times out of ten, will fight the putties unmorphed. unmorphed. Because it gives the, the face actors, and the thing is, yeah. um, but in Zhu Ranger, they usually, like, maybe get a couple of shots and then they, then they change. Yeah. So it's like, I remember hands down saying, it doesn't make sense why they would morph to fight the numpties yeah but i also love like so they start fighting the, the the golems on this interdimensional beach and then completely unexplained for any reason other than magic a fucking television screen raises out of the water with vandora on it and then she starts casting spells and like some weird cgi effects have her like staff and hand reaching out to like zap them here's the weird thing in the first few episodes <laughs> There is a different design for the goal. Well, like it's more of a. It, it why looks, does it look like stale it, Chewbacca? Well, here's the thing. They're both. You see them like in, look I at think, his face. Um, there's That's actually Gar. There's actually three different designs. There's the thick rock one, uh, and that one, and then there's a putty that has regular hands and boots. And the regular hands ones are the ones that, you know, you manipulate, like, you know, like, weapons and other stuff. And they alternate, but the thing is, not, they didn't make the suit for the thick one in North America. So you will, you will actually, there are episodes where you do see the thick putty. I remember seeing it as a kid. It's just that, the th thick putty. since they've redone a lot of the putty fights. Um, you just watch Finster, like, lay on the clay. Extra thick! <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! It's the Bad Batch. I, I left. Oh, well, I the left this one. Thick. I left this one in too long. <laughs> they dummy thick. They thick as fuck. Damn boy. No, no. Damn boy. No, it wouldn't be that. It'd be. Oh no, they're dummy thick. Play for you. Play for you. <laughs> I also like this. I always thought like, why doesn't Rita just like make like twenty of them at once, right? But the two, machine would overheat. I know. But there's two things, okay, that they actually say in the first episode of the show that it takes time. Like, he, he can kind of half ass sculpt them yeah. and sit there, but they're not ready. And he's and, like, don't rush art. Yeah, and there's been times in the show where the, he, she, they rushed one and it was shitty. Yeah. In, and so and also the thing is that Pandora's magic is powering that machine. Uh huh. And they can't use too much. Or else they stop breathing. And also, I think that with <laughs> also here's the thing with the themes and the tactics of the monsters. You send like too many of them, they're going to interfere. Yeah. So uh, the four rangers get captured, in which that's when Geki arrives. 
Hooray! Which, they're all useless except the leader. And which, what were the villains going to do? They were going to eat them. Barbecue them. Barbecue. Barbecue. Yeah. Good to know barbecue existed 170 million well, years boy, ago. I hope Rhea likes her, ra- likes her rangers extra crispy. I prefer mine to be a bit overdone. It doesn't matter. I want the food. Meat is meat. I don't know why I just went through three voices, but I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I, I, I like, somebody once said to me, it's like, why doesn't Rita, like, Rita knows who they are, why doesn't Rita, like, attack them, like, you know, when they're not in the suits? I'm like, Rita fucking sends those things after them all the fucking time. They'll be at school. They'll be at the juice bar. They'll, they'll be, be at a the store. sports shower. Um, they'll, like, just because she's not sending them to their fucking homes, like, what sense does it if you send one to their fucking homes, you get one of them. You wait till they're all gathered together so you can try to get them all at once. <laughs> but, uh, so, so Geki wakes up, <laughs> kicks the door in, saves them all. Some. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Some. Dino once told me. <laughs> um, and then Barza just gives them their fucking dino medals. Yeah. I just like how, like, they were like, you have an hour to save them. And it's like, nah, no, nah, we're not going to do that. It was yeah, crazy. that was weird. Like, so what the trap they had set up was they had the shuttle, the tiny little go-kart shuttle with the kids in it who were also tiny. And then they dangled this, like, stone rock above their heads that's, like, the equivalent of, like, a tiny little gym ball. <laughs> and then they attached it to some string... And dangled it over them, and then put a magnifying glass to the string. And they said that the string would break in exactly one hour. Good magic rope. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's so many questions just from that scenario alone. Like, where did these metals come from? Shut up, it's magic. <laughs> you know what? That's Shut really, up, it's magic! You know what? That's really the title of the episode. You know what? That's fine. Shut up, it's magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But the, the thing is, um, okay, okay, I, I, I love, okay, so the thing is, things do actually make sense in this show, I think. Like, okay, so. It's not the most nonsensical well, thing I've ever seen. her tying the thing with a rope, it doesn't mean that she really needs to kill them in an hour. She's probably going to kill those kids eventually, but it's not, she's not in any rush. The, that she's whole. Playful. Yeah, that whole elaborate thing was to get their attention, for them to go, shit, we got to do it right now. <laughs> it's just cute Dr. Evil. I'm going to put them in an easily escapable situation with no supervision. No, no, she doesn't what? care if the kids die or not right there. She wants the rangers to come engage engage her monster. Yeah. So was, but the thing is once they show up and kinda and they rescue the kids, but they you know, they don't get out with them and they kinda go and they, you know, fight a bit. They're like, Oh, okay, well, I'm not gonna use the string gimmick again. I don't care that we've killed them. And that was when she's like, Okay, let's try the remote control car thing. <laughs> like that was like, Okay, let's I don't want to use the same trick twice. I, I, I think in the second episode when you see the little, like, rocket uh, driving around on the road, I could just see the director being like, No! I want giant rocket flying down the street! I, I, I'm, <laughs> so, I, I'm sorry, sir, but it's not in our budget. You fools! <laughs> I cannot do the thing that I want in tiny little RC vehicle! Okay. Is, uh, is it still racist if it doesn't at all sound like a Japanese accent? I wasn't going for a Japanese accent. <laughs> is, are you going for an accent that sounds like you're going for an Uncle from Jackie Chan? No, it's like it's like an oh. accent. It, it's an accent from 200 million years ago. <laughs> yeah. So they talked back then. Uh, Andre. But you, you know what was overshot okay, it. One thing that'll give them. Okay. So yes, it's a fucking model uh, uh, thing on top of a remote control car. But I mean, like, they filmed the shit out of that scene. Like, they had yeah. the camera following it under cars. Well, before we they, get into that scene, because that's episode two. So episode one, they, they get their medals and everyone does their dino buckler henchin. And I gotta say... I dino dis- buckler! I gotta say I'm disappointed by the henchin. Yeah. I just don't like how it just zooms in on Geki uh, transforming into his helmet and then... Boom, and then just it, like flashes out. his helmet specifically a bunch of colors and then bam they're done. Oh, yeah, they, you know what they were really they really liked those animatronic dinosaurs and they were like we gotta have them in there. It's it's so disappointing because older Sentai have better henchins than this. Oh, yeah, no, I'm kind of, I mean, older Sentai's didn't really show us a lot of more, so it was just. Or they were, like, way too long. Like they would get in a fucking pod and then even some like Vulcan had better henchins. You mean that one time that we ever saw it? It still counts. <laughs> Freaking adjust mask. But I mean, yeah. like, they did a lot of shit happens in, 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 like, basically what is, uh, like, one day. But I like the G-Ranger. One day! Was... Yeah, suits are really cool. 
Um, I especially like the diamond shape on the... I like you know, the... Well, they're iconic. My father knows what a Power Ranger is. When I wear the shirt, he says it's my Power Ranger shirt. I love that the, near the end of the first episode, whenever a giant monster attacks, you see it summoned, you see it grow big, you see it about to attack. With forced perspective. In this episode... With absolutely zero fucking warning, a giant hand crashes through the side of the scene and just grabs the shit out of you them. Think Danny, giant hand comes in. The hand. 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 hand comes in and he takes it. But yeah, uh, we're introduced. Uh, the mighty episodes, dragon dagger. I'm using it as a back scratcher. Yep. But yeah, episodes one and two introduce us to our first two Dora monsters, uh, the monsters that appear in the show. I love Dora Frank. Wow, she names them after herself. Or the Explorer. <laughs> Itchy, you telling me that if you could make monsters, they wouldn't be like, you know, Itchy Cougar and like Itchy Griffin? No. Not even I'm that self absorbed. I'll go Ichi Nichi. Ichi Nichi. It is my dream that one day my little brother will be hey, 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 Ichi Hey, Nissan. people in the Discord. <laughs> um, a bunch of us, when we play Final Fantasy XIV, Itchy's the only person in our group that plays a male character. So whenever <laughs> we're all, we're all, you know, partying or like you're hanging out with them, it's kind of like he's in a harem anime, so we're known yeah. as as Itchy's Bitchies. <laughs> so, 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 anyways, this was not my two. idea. What we did, what we did, we were leading to, but didn't talk about was Dora Titan. Yes, it's a giant gladiator with creepy ass eyes that didn't make it, as far as I know, into. No, uh, I don't remember oh, no, that from no, Power Rangers. It, it wasn't Power Rangers. It was. Yeah, I. Holy shit! I remember it being Power Rangers. Yeah. Uh, and then we get the ending theme. Oh, go for adventure. Jumbo, jumbo, jumbo. Jumbo man. It's basically... Oh. Why is it reggae? That, that's... Why does it show them all being awful, terrible people? Like stealing people's cars? Like, I think that's Geki at the start. He's giving this really creepy smile. And then, like, Dan and, or whoever is, like, scared of a pug dog... And then May's in like a wedding dress, and they all just ruin her wedding day. I don't think she's what the fuck is this? Was, yeah, I, think she was mo- I think okay. she was modeling. Uh, and, 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 like that's the other thing that I wanted to bring up about how like May's just the girl in the ending sequence. Just in a wedding dress. May because girl. May is not bad. Like she's an okay fighter. Like the you know like she, she's actually a decent fighter. She's got you know like um. But it's really awkward watching she her. She is, in my opinion, well. one of the least memorable uh, pinks of of all time. Like, she is she's, the Hawkeye of the group. <laughs> well, no, her fighting ability is fine. No, she's a range. She's a ranger. We're in a giant fortress flowing in the sky. There's a witch after us and golem soldiers. And I have a bow and arrow. <laughs> but here's the thing. Okay, so a lot of these, we're not going to go over all of them, but I mean, Kimberly is ten times better than May in every way. Yeah. That's one of the things I will give, like, okay, like, Power Rangers is the better theme song, hands down. Of course. Uh, um, the, 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 come on, Mighty Morphin fucking Power Rangers. I am a person that doesn't like to compare the Sentai with the Power Rangers. <sighs> Why not? Because I consider them as two separate entities. Oh like, shit! I can understand. Right. Yeah, here we go. The, the Seven only, seconds. Like the only time when I'll actually compare it is when if Power Rangers does something worse than the Sentai. I like to compare only like, this one, like Ninja and Ninja Steel. Yeah. Only it, this it one, just, because yeah. you know what? They're both where one is weak, the other is strong. Um, some of them, depending on who you ask, you know. Uh, okay, I'll take Jason over Gek. Geki's okay, but I mean, Jason has so much more personality and so much more presence. Trini, oh, precious, beautiful Trini. Anyways, is that Billy, <laughs> like, who doesn't love Billy? You love Billy. I know you do. We all love Billy. I, I know love, you love Billy. I really love Billy. And uh, my, my shelf up there. Was but awesome. the hard one is, the hardest one for me is Zack versus Gosh, because they're both fucking awesome. Mm. Anyways, this is coming up in two hours, so let's quickly power through episode two. Power yeah, we get it. Uh, so episode two uh, is them still trying to save the children in the tiny rocket. We get the monster of the week, Dora Skeleton. I remember that fighting that thing in the video game. Yep. I remember in the video game they used a lot of the first season monsters. Yeah. But, uh, so the, the plan with the string failed from the previous episode... 
And in passing, I was like, oh, so what's she gonna do now? Just yeet the rocket back to Earth? And, and, and then she just fucking does that. <laughs> that won't be the only- Make this rocket not grow! <laughs> H.E., that won't be the only time a human gets yeeted from space. Oh, excellent. <laughs> So the spaceship, it, 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 like this tiny little remote control car, like we've been saying, just like starts rolling through the streets, causing chaos, not the least of which is blowing up the skirts of a couple of fucking schoolgirls. I'm just thinking of Toy Story and how many boys are on there. I'm just thinking for the city. That's kind so of we're not aiming like. for the truck. That's kind of what it felt like. Uh... And then Finster fucking prays. I saw him like hit that. Not feet. only that, he does the, that's the that's sign the, of the cross. Yeah. So, you know, uh, Rita Repulsa is Jewish. Um, Finster is Catholic. Wow. Space Catholic. Yeah. Wait a minute, isn't Lord Zed also Jewish? No, it was Rita, though. It was it was a mixed wedding. I actually showed this to to uh, Victoria when we were dating at the time. And she goes, yeah, that's a, that's a mixed wedding. Because, <laughs> like, the things like the cake and everything were, like, Christian, you know. So he was either Christian or Catholic. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. So like they, they fight the skeleton monster and then Dan has the fucking genius idea. Every time they, they, they beat it and it like scatters into parts, it rebuilds itself, and Dan, this genius motherfucker, grabs the head and stops it from regenerating. Yeah, Dan's Did, kind of the brain to the group. Well not real no, Dan is the cunning. Yeah. He's not smart, Cunnable. like you can't he won't tell you a plan, but he's adaptable. So Dan will like oh, let's just do this. The brains of the group is gauche. And then, like, Rita even, okay, Rita's, like, talking to her, like, oh, yeah, I hate that guy, and Goshi, Goshi's, like, the brains and the heart of the group, like, she, res the funny thing is, Bandora respects Goshi. Interesting. But Doesn't yeah, respect any of the other of those four fucks. And then Dan just, like, takes the head, finds a crack in the earth, and just throws the head down into hell. <laughs> Prepare to meet Satan. In hell. <laughs> Next time Satan comes to us as a big face in the sky. Oh and... shit! <laughs> no, it, 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 yeah, as, as great Satan. Yeah, Satan. Yeah, he freaking shows up as a giant. I remember seeing him in Mighty Morphin. Yeah, that's yeah. Satan. Yeah, yeah. His name is Die Satan. Yes, and he actually shows up in in one of the fucking. Um, I think it, I think it's the movie we're going to be getting in Beast uh, in uh, the new Power Rangers. It was the crossover from uh, yeah. the dinosaur crossover. Yeah, but uh, they saved the kids. Yeah, and then and then the two kids literally blew Skidoo out of this tiny ship and become normal size. Yep. Like, you didn't know that would work. <laughs> you didn't even put your hand out or anything. I know. Like the kids could have just like not grown normal, just fallen out of the ship. And... But, and that's, but it's just also the idea of like. <laughs> Wait, you kids could have done that this entire time. Well, yeah. they didn't know that. They had to have the power and just go like, yeah, it's I, wa I wanted so bad for, like, after they saved them and they were, like, looking at the cockpit of the ship in their hands, I wanted so bad to see from the kids' perspective of these giant-ass ranger helmets. Well, they do. When uh, Ghost looks and says, like, you okay in there? They're like, ah! And then, <laughs> and then, like, May takes it and she's like, it's okay. No, I know, like, but you never see it from the cockpit perspective. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, dude, that would have been Oh, by the way, the cockpit... Of the space shuttle is actually the uh, stripped down cockpit <laughs> from Jet Icarus, and the uh, and the mighty or the Megazord one is the repainted and renovated cockpit from Jet Icarus. Yeah. Interesting. And then, uh, we also get the, uh, the introduction to the Tyrannosaurus Guardian Beast. Yes, which is rad. It, uh, it, it has an attack called Tyrannosonic, where it just shoots a laser at the ground, which causes a windy dust storm. Hey, yeah, doesn't that look familiar? Doesn't uh, Spawn Jokey do that in Jet Yeah, it was basically Burn Blacker. Yeah, but... That's it's... cool. You like how Super Sentai likes to nod at each other? Yeah. Like... <laughs> so, so they defeat the monster, and... <laughs> Pandora gets so angry that she just like punts a globe into her weak or in her in her, her slaves. And Charlie Chaplin called. He wants the footage back. <laughs> and then <laughs> I fucking love. I love the way that the like before Tyrannosonic happens, they just take this shuttle, launch it right into the fucking Titan's eye. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we have Tyranno. I'm going to eat you now. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, this is 1992 when we stilled it. Where we, where we realized... Uh, I'm going to stand up for this quickly. 
I know we're running out of time, but basically, like, so many notice with the Tyrannosaurus or he's like hinged, hunched up. over. No, he's not hunched over. He's standing up straight. Oh yeah. Because yeah. remember, for the longest time until like the mid nineties, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex were like always standing up straight. It wasn't until like Jurassic Park where we realized, oh shit, yeah, they like bend down. They're like very hunched. But he over. did have the tiny hands. Yeah. <laughs> He's kind of Godzilla like, well, except we're a getting a Godzilla Mecca. analog. Godzilla. Yeah. Uh, Whose Dragon name Caesar, like, Dragon <laughs> Caesar. Yeah. I was I gonna like, say. I, 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 do you know what? Dragon Zord's cool. Dragon Caesar is a rad name. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when he screams it. Because he's like, Dragon Caesar! <laughs> Dragon Caesar! Like he fucking shouts it. But, uh, so after Rita or Bandora. Suffers her. You see how hard yeah. it is. Suffers her. It's fucking hardwired into me. I know. After she suffers her defeat, like we actually see her exclaim that she does in fact have a headache. Yeah. So that was good to see that that was not original. That kid was it's carry like, over. It's like Jew Ranger, Jew Ranger, Jew Ranger, Jew Ranger, Jew Ranger. Get the fuck out of here, kid. <laughs> We're never gonna see you kids again. What about the other? Never right, see him again. <laughs> well, we to go home. But her parents are dead. <laughs> yeah, I, like where do the kids go? They from adopt here? them. Did I stutter? Just Barza adopts them. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, that's, your job. You is have to watch my keys. Yeah. <laughs> your job is to change Garza, uh, Barza's diaper, but he's an old man, exactly. <laughs> so Scr- that was scrub the- behind my giant gross elf ears. So that was the first two episodes of Jew Ranger. Definitely different from Jetman. I will yeah. say that. Yeah. I. Okay. It had some funny moments, but overall, I kind of don't like it so far. Again, this is definitely aimed more at children, because that was the that, while it's telling children that they should hate and kill each other. Yeah, but, but, like it was more of a, like a fantasy road. Apparently, the ratings weren't that well until April, so like it took two months to finally pick up. Okay, this is where it kicked off though, and or how it got to be very successful. I was gonna say they had. I'm sure they did something right. This was the series that kickstarted the franchise. Nine billion, million or billion yen in toy sales. Cool. Well, toys are pretty good. So, in which you ever wonder why Sentai always brings back dinosaurs? Yeah. They sell. There's your. There's your reason. Yeah. They realize dinosaurs sell well. Curator sold well. Uh, Re soldier, eh, not so much. We don't talk about that one. I'm a ranger. We don't. To quote the late Chad Ch- Ch- Postman, we don't do that here. <laughs> Fuck, that's weird to say now. Yeah. Uh, we'll go watch the first scene after this. I'm going to watch the first scene where we see T'Challa. Because that's my favorite. Or where you chase after Bucky? No, when he's just like in the conference oh, in Vienna no, when the, we first see him. Yeah. Uh, so this ends this month's Super Sentai tribute. Uh, the next one will be heading. Th- this show did come out three oh. years later, but it is considered 1999. The apocalypse has begun. The Y2K of Super Sentai. And we must use the and we must use ancient civilization technology to inform our powers from the evil space robots. Oh. As we go into the first two episodes of Choriki Sentai O Ranger. Hey. Oh. The 20th anniversary Super Sentai project. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ranger. So, oh, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, Jew Ranger was also <coughs> the starting point of where they stopped using man in the title. Oh, Ging- yeah. Like, Ginga Man was the last one. Uh, okay. Jet, Jet Man. No, Ginga Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ginga oh, yeah, it was Ginga after. Man comes yeah. after. You know, I, I, they probably won't ever do it again, but I wouldn't mind if we got, like, a Sentai that had man in the title I, these days. I, would, I don't mind the changing up of things. Like It would feel really know. retro. It would be cool if they did it for next year's team. Yeah. But uh, in the meantime, in the meantime, that's going to be next month's Sentai feature. But, <gasps> Jikai, Lineal Sentai Cast Ranger. So, since next week is going to be the finale of Comrade of Zero One, you know what we do here. We always talk, take the finale to talk about our feelings on the show as a whole. But we will also attempt to squeeze in uh, two episodes of the Zero One Everyday Life anime since we mm. haven't had a chance to talk about those yet. They are very short, so... Yeah. 
Yeah. If anything, when you put them at the very beginning, then cure major. <laughs> hey, yay, every day, happy life! Terrible apocalyptic ending. The apocalypse. Yeah. Yes, I am excited. I call it the Garpocalypse. <laughs> oh, no, that's when King Gar shows up. What about the corn popalypse? Corn popalypse. Uh, I think that's happening at Sandflex. Yeah, uh, that's a good. <laughs> All right, so, as always, thank you for listening, watching, liking, sharing, favoriting, subscribing. The primary source of our hijinks is castranger.podbean.com. From there, you can find our Facebook page, our Twitter, our Patreon, our Discord server, our merch store. And wow. we've been expanding our platforms recently, so I believe the show is now being broadcast over Google Podcasts, in addition to Google Play, uh, Pandora. Uh, Pandora? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which Pandora? Uh, and ben uh, box, uh, the, the thing that only Lord Zed has seen, and uh, Amazon, I believe, also as well. Yeah. The links are all up on the site. And you know, we did lose Chadwick Bozeman while we were recording, so I just want to say this cherish your loved ones, yep, yes, because you never know when they're gone. Yeah, be good to yourselves and each other, be good to yourselves and love, and be excellent, and to be each around. Other be around your loved ones thank you and we'll see you next week bye guys give the dishes rage out of legends <laughs>